Whether it's something like Arcane or... Uh, Which is bad because of women. Or or <laughs> or a Spider-Man film. Or Which is a, bad because minorities. Or, <laughs> or, or a Batman cartoon. Or an old one-season wonder. Uh, if you disagree with someone on something and dare to suggest that they aren't nearly as media literate or knowledgeable as they like as their fucking livelihood depends on uh they will make your life a living hell um and i'm so yes. over these people i was just gonna say yeah. like it'd be nice if everyone in the media criticism sphere could just like talk about the media mm -hmm. and not anything else yeah if they could just learn to fine. chill the fuck out that would be great i'm I'm fine if people want to explain why they think I'm wrong. That would be great. I'm kind of tired of personal attacks. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so, okay, we're talking about Southpaw, right? Ah, oh, God, I'm doing, talking about that guy. I'm doing that thing again. See, that's, yeah, how I start, that's how I started it last time. I said the we're, exact same thing. We're talking about It's because Southpaw. I don't know how to do intros. So I just uh, okay, default well, to the standard. We're talking about Southpaw. Just, we can do an intro. <laughs> okay, TLDR, it just cut. South Falls okay. watch party didn't go quite as planned with Mahler and Frinny. The Terrier's watch party. Two yes. years ago. And ever since then, South Falls has been losing his fucking mind. So ever since our um, everything we said about South Falls was rad video. Yeah. Which was almost a year ago at this point. Everything that you guys said about South Falls was right, by the way. Yeah, you know it's crazy. I feel like that is true as well. Without and Southpaw, it, what are we? We're nothing. We need Southpaw. Southpaw is Southpaw is my Southpaw is my reason d'être. My entire reason to just get up in the morning. You're a is, fool. Is, okay. it, I have a picture of him. I, I I have a picture of him on the opposite wall uh, of my bed. So. When I wake up, I see the picture, and then I just run out of the bed and start attacking it. That's the only way I can get out of bed. <laughs> I, I just, I just trick myself into just attacking this picture of self. Or... So, there's been the three and a half hour drama video made by SK with some assistance by Southpaw. There was the Q and A stream. There was the organized chaos appearance, and also an appearance by SK, but we don't count that. There was two streams made by SK, purely focused on the Terrius drama. Then there were three streams focused... On, it was supposed to be focused on Terrius criticism, but then it just devolved into talking about the drama again. Every single... Because I've seen everything that Southpaw has done this past year. Everything that because he's... You're, because you're obsessed with it. Yeah, every, yeah, I am. Every single time that Southpaw has been live in 2023, I've seen it. So I can assure yeah. you... <laughs> with authority that Southpaw has talked about Terry's drama in every single stream he's been a part of, even when it has nothing to do with the topic. He, yeah. he, he anyway. desperately wants this drama to be a thing that people actually care about, even though nobody actually does. The way he pathetically brings it up, like yeah. in, in his newer streams, it's just, I don't know how he's even still talking about it. It's the only way he gets attention. These days, I, true. I mean, I, I mean that's that that's the short answer. That's the short. That does sum it up, answer. though. I mean, that, that, that's gonna sum up the next what three hours that we're gonna talk about this. I'll quickly mention the reason why the compilation that I released for a few weeks ago exists is because there's just too much to cover. There's a lot we we know we're not even gonna talk about because we don't have the time. So. We're only going to be fo it's it's we're only going to be focusing on the highlights of the highlights. Here's my opinion on your compilation. Yeah. Uh, I think it's so well. I think would it be safe to say that that is your most well received video? Sure. Maybe not views, but you've gotten a lot of like feedback that wasn't from us, right? A lot of attention and, from uh, both anti and pro EFA people. And I think the reason why. A compilation is so compelling is because you're not inserting any sort of outside influence you're literally providing just clips of the man talking yeah it's just them talking and and then the it doesn't get screenshot. much more like damning than just here's unedited clips of this guy rambling on about his insane shit well as we know there's people looking looking for a 
looking for a podcast like this. So there, yeah. we are we're, we're we're sort of like the leaders of this like the, these new little this new little uh, thing. And also because Even, EFAP is not going to mention Southpaw ever. True. They, they haven't so mentioned that's smart of them. They haven't mentioned Southpaw's name since twenty twenty one. So what you're saying is that there is an untapped market. Yes. I'm going to swoop right in. I, I want the market to be dominated. By We're going to monopolize the Southpaw drama market. Yes. Everybody I mean, why would... collectively get together and make an anti-Southpaw video. So the first video, the first section of a video we're going to be looking at. This is from the SK drama video that he made back in January of this year. That's mm -hmm. uh, three and a half hours. And why didn't we cut? Okay, the reason we didn't cover that is because it's made by SK, and I don't really particularly <laughs> care about him. If it was made by Sapo, then maybe would have covered it, but it wasn't. So, and also it relies, it relies a little too much on hearsay evidence for it to be useful, which kind of makes me wonder why he even made it in the first place. It's no longer public. He privated, oh. he privated it uh -oh. sometime in early October. In fact, uh -oh, SK, so, so most people probably know that by this point, because he's already talked about this several times on his Twitter. But SK has gone on an absolute private and spree because he wants nothing to do with Southpaw anymore. Ooh. So he's private. The Q&A stream, Thumbcast 45, Thumbcast 50, mm -hmm. Thumbcast 51, Thumbcast 53, and Thumbcast 54. So none of those are public anymore. Are these videos ones that you covered? These were streams that were featured in that compilation. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Well, they're all about hmm. serious dramas, so that's why he cut. That's why he deleted those from the face of the earth. Has he been? Has he? Has he privated any uh, video of his association with Southpaw, or just those ones? Just those ones, from what I've seen. But maybe so he private more in the future. Last time edited in this video. So who knows? It looks like he's private. Just privated. As of this time, he's only privated videos that is that is on your, that's in your video. Yes. So so most of this um, drama video by SK, it's just him talking. And then there's this one section that's only Southpaw. It's, uh, and this was, this is so fucking stupid. It was mentioned in the, the description of SK's drama video. This is Southpaw's victim impact statement. What? That, that's what he calls it. Have you ever... Okay, I'm not very well versed in drama videos on YouTube. Have you ever actually seen that before? Somebody calling it an impact statement? It's an impact mean, statement. It's so fucking... Uh, what do you call it? Court-like. That's what a court would call it. Yeah, I know what you if, mean. If somebody got uh, raped. It's like, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's, like, it's like South Pole's making like a... He's acting as if he's a country that's been bombed or something. Yeah. <laughs> but but here's the here's the funny part. So I edited this down to about seven minutes. How long do you guys think this victim impact statement is originally? If you edited it down to seven minutes, yeah. that's not a good sign. Because <laughs> seven minutes sounds way too long I, already. Both of you try and guess. Three hours. Three, three hours. hours. Uh, I was no, no, thinking no, like the, the drama video was three and a half hours, so it's not going to be a three-hour victim impact statement. Like um, thirty-five hour. minutes. Okay, one hour then. Uh, you were closer, man. It's uh, twenty-six minutes. Jesus Christ! That's still too. That's still way too that's long. Quite the that's quite the impact. So most of the stuff I've, I've checked out. Most of the stuff I've cut out is stuff that that's either too repetitive. It's just him repeating himself. Or it's him bringing up stuff that was stated even back when this drama video released. So it's pointless to cover. So you want to keep this uh, video we're doing concise. Otherwise, nobody's going to understand what, it, what we're talking about. So Exactly. Are, you, are both of you ready for Southpaw's victim impact statement? I'm strapped in for this. I'm, 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 I'm strapped on. It's dumb. It's hard yeah, to adequately put into words how exactly everything that SK has outlined here affected me. In one sense, it seems just too absurd because it's entirely happening online. Uh, okay, just to give you some context, guys. SK just Please. covered 
the call between Southpaw and Wolf. Oh so this God, impact that. statement is following right after. So SK's that, intro, oh, that was, SK's intro was Southpaw didn't take it too well. Now Southpaw is going to talk a bit about how he didn't take it too well. Southpaw is now going to talk about how fucking insane he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's start from so. so um, it's hard oh. to. Add. There's like just in that first part, there was music in in this. Uh, did you add that? No. Okay. Meme thought I added that. I I didn't add that. It's it's so ridiculous <laughs> that I just did not think that this guy had the balls to add some dramatic music to his it fucking sounds, YouTube video. It sounds like it sounds like the mood music in a horror video game, in like it's, Amnesia, Doctor Zen, or something. It is so ridiculous that I thought it was like supposed to be a comical like add on. It would like, have I, I genuinely a thought. Element. But it, it is kind of funny. That's why I was well, like, it, yo, Fries, it's pretty funny. It's funny because nothing sad has been said. <laughs> it's just it's dramatic the right off the, the bat. Impact statement. Also, this is Southpaw playing Sonic? No, it's probably, or... it's probably it. I, this video was made by SK, so I assume it's SK playing Sonic Unleashed? Why well, has he got 99 lives, huh? What's up with that? Wow, what a nerd. What a cheater. I just find it funny that, Speaks Southpaw, volumes. that, that Southpaw's like... Um, this really affected me, and I was in a really bad place mentally. Uh, and then in, in, the, in, the, in the foreground, it's just Sonic. Just, oh, yeah. <laughs> gotta go fast. Running faster, faster. <laughs> I miss Shadow. Uh, bring back Shadow. Just, just bring Sonic back just Shadow. eating like a, like a, those like big His like chili dog. Sonic chili dog, yeah. <laughs> well, well, so it's the opening to Black Knight. <laughs> Sonic that chili it, dog. It's hard to adequately put into words how exactly everything that SK has outlined here affected me. In the beginning of uh, Sonic Unleashed, like he falls from the sky and like catches a chili dog or something. I think. Wait, what? Not based. I swear to Wait, God so... that I, I oh, we got a we fever dream. We're off topic. We're off topic. We're off topic already. Whatever. Adequately put into words how exactly <laughs> everything that SK has outlined here affected me. In one sense, well, it Sonic seems go. just too absurd because it's entirely epic. happening online. Nobody is talking face blur. to face, and save for one or two individuals, everyone involved God, really only knows or refers to each other through their internet alias. Everything about this is confined to about. Uh, I I pause it there. Um, does Southworth, um, is he trying to make himself seem more or less like uh, a histrionic woman by explaining? How this is all just occurring online, and how none of it is in real life. This is not real. Also, this is an interesting strategy to start off your impact statement by saying, "By the way, none of this yeah. is really real." Doesn't really. None matter. of this is important. This, this is none of this is important. None of this is real. I am willingly, voluntarily, engaging with all of this because Southwell could just turn off his computer and go outside. <laughs> Yeah, this is a that's a that's a bold strategy considering anyone who even gives half half of a peanut butter fuck about what well, he has to say is listening, thinking this is like important <laughs> shit, and then he starts off by being like, "This is just some internet shit, like whatever." Doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, here's why it matters. Here's why it all matters. By the way, here's, here's my I, here's my half an hour impact statement. Here's why it's affected me personally. Here's. Here I am, I'm going to detail my my brush with suicidal thoughts. For all intents and purposes, none of this is real. My connection with these guys <laughs> ran deeper than just a podcast host and a guest or a YouTuber and a fan. We were, we were friends. friends. And we were quite close by the time mm. that this all happened. Oh. <laughs> I was the sure music. to hear from each of them several times a week. Oftentimes, oftentimes daily. daily. Every interaction I had with them prior to all this was cordial and pleasant. And okay. <laughs> okay. Every interaction I had with them prior to this was cordial and pleasant. And then this one unpleasant experience was enough to completely fuck over our relationship forever. Friendship over. Yeah. Also, is, is Southpaw is South suing them? Because <laughs> that, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> So it sounds like he's he's got a lawsuit in the works. Like also just the way like all of all of our all of our dealings were cordial and pleasant. You know, you guys are my friends. We haven't had not all of our dealings have been cordial and pleasant. We, we scream at each other all the time. That's what this guys is do. this is fucking this is fucking weird. 
you know I don't listen to this stuff that much unless it's something that you're like, dude, you gotta see how ridiculous this is. But li- listening to him go on about this stuff is just, I don't know, man. Bizarre. It's silly. It's real, yeah, bizarre. It's just, it's strange. All of that stuff was happening in the background as I got closer and closer with these guys. Their takes on media resonated with me. We looked at movies and TV shows in a very similar way, and we got along really well overall. We just clicked, and in some ways, I started seeing Mahler as like a surrogate older brother of sorts. Okay. Oh my god. And all of that changed when they didn't like my shitty TV (laughs) show. Okay, so it's bad enough that he says you're like an older brother, but an older surrogate brother? So, so, so <laughs> yeah, that's take, so, that's so autistic to say you, it that way. You take isn't it? care of, aren't you like twenty eight? <sighs> and also, here's the funny part. He says this in a few seconds, but I'm gonna spoil it anyways. He already has brothers, yeah, older brothers. So this is even weirder for him to say. It it doesn't make sense for him to have this kind of connection to Mahler. Okay, I'm, I'm well, gonna have the seen. best faith interpretation of this line. It's probably just that Sapo is trying to compliment Mahler in some way. He thinks that this is a nice compliment to give someone. When the reality uh, that most other people think it's creepy to say these things about other people. That's a surrogate brother, a man he never met in real life, a man that he immediately broke his friendship off with when he criticized the most easily criticizable thing. Criticizable, that's a word, right? It is now. Yeah, that's that's right that's with that. <laughs> All of this is just to say that my friendships with Mahler and Wolf and the rest of the people in their circle meant quite a lot to me. I didn't really want to rock the boat with them, and perhaps sometimes that translated to not challenging them enough on certain subjects or areas of disagreement, avoiding conflict if at all possible, and ultimately there was just no bad blood to be had between us, which was why I was hoping that when the terms of discourse around this one show were proving to be lopsided, and that it was clear that discussions about it were not going to be fruitful for whatever reason, the best way to avoid things from blowing up would be if we were to just end the watch parties and leave things be, agree to disagree. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack there. Yeah. Um, Yeah. So Southpaw basically just admits that he's so desperate to remain friends with these people. He will not challenge them, and he won't stand up for himself. He will avoid conflict, if at all he will, possible. Yeah, he, he will avoid confrontation with these people who are supposedly like family, like brothers to him. And he says there's no bad blood, when clearly there has been resentment festering underneath the surface. Yeah, on South Pole side. Yeah, and what, and also just the type, what type of person is, uh, can, are you when you supposedly respect admire love these people and you just don't you and you just sit there as like this passive weak person in this relationship you, you, you're not you're not you're not so much a respected member of a friendship group you're more like a pet more like a parasite yeah that's like it's insane i couldn't imagine not like keeping my mouth shut about not about something i disagree with you guys on for the sake of maintaining like a friendship, because I, I I'm pretty sure that our friendship is stronger than the fact that. What than our opinions on something. a TV show? Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah. I think that's purely insane. It's not what our our friendships aren't built upon the right opinions on media. Well, yeah, well, that's that's a, that's a good point. Uh, that's why it's see, it, it, clearly that is what their friendship was based on. That's what Southpaw saw it as. They seemed at least Southpaw. He seems to have gone into this friendship like oh we're all media analysts we're all these guys are my correct all the time yeah these guys are my heroes these guys are my media like youtube media analyst hero don't meet your, not, don't meet your heroes kid yeah and, and, and not that. like yeah <laughs> coming with low expectations of this actually yeah pr- pr- actually if you are going to meet us carry a lot of cash on you yeah. And, meet, and meet in the dark alley. Please, please I, I need this. How does he not expect people to think this is all about terriers when he's literally going on and on about this, his brothers in arms, his family, his best of friends, and we disagreed over a show and we're going to part ways now? It's like, how does he not expect people to think that it's about the show specifically? Because that's what he mind. claims is that it's not about that. 
in his mind, it's not it's it's not about the show. It's the fact that they are they aren't consistent to their to their standards because if they were consistent to their standards, they would like the the TV show Darius. And also that their opinions are morally abhorrent. But we'll get to that later. But even with that, it's still all about terriers. Yeah. Like yeah. that's what I'm confused but, about. But, but Meme, he keeps saying it's not about terriers. He said this well, for two years. And it mustn't be about terriers. I don't know what else to say. I mean, geez. We've covered this. Um, we watched it. And it's very clear that in Southport in in the in the watch through, when when Mola and Fringy start criticizing it and Southall can't adequately defend it, he gets very frustrated and well, very, he's like... He's just a deer in headlights, and he doesn't really have... Yeah, he gets very, he gets very defensive. Yeah. He gets really but defensive it's because he very didn't angry. expect Mon Frini to not like the show, and he didn't expect to get these questions. He didn't even expect yeah. him to find any flaws, because he said I mean, it was, it was a, a ten, 10... It was a... N- yeah, 9 out of 10 with one 8 out of 10 episode. Yeah, he said I it mean. was one of the best TV shows he's ever seen. That it was a yeah. masterpiece, so... And it's... It's so weird that he he's 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 saying it like there were, you know, oh well, you know, the the conversation started to, to degrade. He's only saying that because they start to disagree with, him. and he's like, uh, and he's making it seem like him being a bitch and leaving is like I I was distancing myself from a, a bad situation. Nah, you were a bitch. But from a completely cordial call. Why are you calling a totally it a cordial. bad experience? I don't know. A totally cordial call where Seth was clearly gets frustrated yeah. and angry with Mulder and Friggy for disagreeing with his favorite TV show. Even though he's, where he, had, he says he doesn't get angry, guys. So I love. I, I just love how his the the these people, these type of people, they they, don't, they can't come up with any defenses on the spot. But if you just give them, you know, enough time to talk to their, you know, weird little minions, then they'll just, then they'll like, oh, I have enough, I, I can defend it now. I can defend it now that I've, now that I've amassed, like, an army to help me. Yeah, and it's, it's just taken me they, two years? Give yeah. Time. Yeah, and I, it's, the, they can't defend, or they can't argue on their own, on their own. They have to delegate out to their... To that child, that little child army. There were definitely parts of the watch party where I felt like they were being a bit relentless and kind of patronizing and hostile. What? What? Uh, sorry to pause it so soon. Um, what did you expect? You 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 just you just thought like, oh, I'm just going to present this obje- this show, which I will claim is one of the best ever. The one of the best shows of all time ever. And it's like, whoa, they're criticizing the best show of all time. He was like, he didn't compare it to Breaking Bad, but he's like, people remember Breaking Bad for being like really good, but this came out around the same time and it's overlooked. And it's like, how are you possibly comparing Breaking Bad to Terriers? I don't understand. It's not even in the same. It's <laughs> one is good. It's not even in the same universe. How does he claim that they their attitude was bad, but he, he didn't have an attitude when we all saw how he acted to the criticism? Because he's right in his mind. Because, oh, right, he's, yeah. because in his mind he's right. He's he's got like a he's a he's got a good reason to be upset because th- these guys are victim blamers as well. They're, they're blaming the victims of like a, of a TV show being raped. Of a fictional character. No one's ever really going to know what mm. would have happened had I just been left alone regarding the decision to not continue watching the show with them. Had Mahler's friends been on the same page as him. That this was nothing what? to fret over at all, and that everything was going to be fine. Well, well we don't, we don't live, live in that world. <laughs> I love, months. dude. I love the way he says that. It's the funniest, most over dramatic shit in the world. It'll take a while. Pretty much everyone who's seen the initial watch party in full would agree that dealing with this sort of hostility long okay. enough, especially there, if there's is. reason to believe that criticisms are being made in poor faith, would provoke just about anyone eventually. Okay, so. I love this. Be- I love that part in particular. It's one of my favorites because it it really gets across how insane um, and just well, frankly, just insane South Boy is. Because he's like, look, you don't know what I- anybody would have broken like I did. 
I had to sit there and listen to these people bad faith argue against terriers. Anybody would have broken. <laughs> Any, uh, how, how, can, how, how can a man withstand such torment? He's, who, he's among you, who among you is without sin? Well, we don't live in that world. After seeing oh, months God. of the slander about me going totally uncontested, <laughs> I'm being made out to be someone who just keeps dredging up old drama. Because you are. Old... So, yeah. I, I, I honestly don't understand why people would levy this argument against Southpaw, because he only released a video two hours, uh, two years after the event. It's not like this drama uh, was resolved according to him. He, he doesn't realize that he's the reason why this is still going on. Yeah, the only reason why we're talking about this is because he won't stop talking about it. I'm obsessed with him. Yeah, both. He also has a real issue with handling things in private. Oh yeah, like he doesn't want to handle God things damn. in private. He, he wants to make everything public. He loves that that X dot com. It's gonna be a public display for everyone I think, to see. I think that comes down to the fact that Southall just is deeply insecure. Yeah, and he just and he just has no confidence in his own ability to resolve problems. Oh, yeah. Or just even confidence in himself in any way. <laughs> I should just move on. Let everyone spread lies about my character and vilify me over the utterly senseless dissolution of... Bro, I can't believe that somebody would just go on the internet and tell lies. I'm sure Southwell has never, ever it's misrepresented nice. anybody. And if I do decide to finally rebut this character assassination campaign against me... Regardless of what I say or do, I'm paying. well, I'm the one causing drama. You are. <laughs> I'm the one causing Bro, drama. Bro, you're I so dramatic. Oh my the, god. The, the absolute lack of irony when he says, um, when he says a mis misrepresentation campaign against me, but campaign. I'm the one. But I'm the one causing drama. By, by who? A misrepresentation Russia. campaign Fuck. by who? The Russians. By me? By it's the it's the Russians. Mueller? Doing it. The Mueller hasn't talked about this at all. So. Well, it's a campaign. It's us. So it's all yeah. the EFAP fans that well, that they they poisoned the well, Fries. You don't understand. Campaign, they turned them against him. Campaign would imply that it's a certain organized. person or a certain group of people. Yeah, it's, it's, doing it's, this. yeah, it's organized and it's planned. Yeah. As we know, it's just a bunch of people online laughing at this kid for getting real butthurt about his favorite show. Well, you call him a kid, <laughs> even though he's older than all of us. Well, he's sorry. He acts like a kid, oh, yeah. so it's it's hard for me to remember that sometimes. It really? I, is. The fact that he is the one accusing, I, I don't know, like us, for example, of an organized uh, <laughs> campaign, <laughs> of an organized campaign to to, you know, discredit him when he's friends with sk or at least at the time he's friends with sk and that's basically all sk and his his bunch of like retarded zoomers do sk who started the mass flagging campaign yeah <laughs> and he's talking about like misinformation and a campaign to destroy his character meanwhile the first video you guys made like with pafe about Southpaw, like his coverage of that video was so like, I mean, none of us have even seen anywhere near to the entire thing because of how utterly like, I don't even want to say bad faith because like we, it doesn't even matter, but it's just like when you watch it, there's just zero intention of them ever like actually going into it with a good faith argument at all. Actually, I think even he, didn't he even say a few times like we got to get, we're getting them like off the internet and stuff and stuff like that. Guys, go dislike bomb this video. It's it's so silly. He is the person that he's like claiming that the people were attacking. Like it's I don't know. He's always been like this. He's always that boy cries like out as he strikes you. Pretty much. Nice reference. <laughs> I don't know. No, I just invented that. It's not a reference to anything or anyone. Oh, right. I can't right. even begin to tell you how huh. sick I am of dealing with this. <laughs> Knowing what really happened, feeling its effects every single day. Every oh single God. day. I can tell you oh is just how bad it got after this call. He, he makes it. He makes it sound like he got sexually assaulted. 
I mean, we have yeah. to add the recording of you screaming every single day. Remember? <laughs> Wait. We could use that. But things really began to unravel for me after this call. The wolf call. Any hope of resolving this and communicating my actual reasons for going no contact for those three to four months had seemingly been dashed to the ground. Jesus, SK is shit at this Nothing game. Nothing was making any sense. <laughs> I was working crazy amounts of overtime at work during the holidays. Oh, no. And I lost God knows how no, no, much time as I tried to process why this once sweet escape from the mundanities and hardships of life had turned into what it became. Oh, oh Mentally, my God. Physically and emotionally, I was pushed to my breaking point and I fell into a very ugly depressive state after this call. He sounds like he, he sounds like Mother he, of God. He sounds get like off he, the he internet. Left. He sa- he comes across like he left Scientology or something. Yeah. I mean, God I mean, damn, I guess dude. at this point, what else can you do other than leave the internet? You should leave permanently, but don't even leave permanently. Just get- be gone for like a year or two. It'll do your mind wonders, okay, just I'm don't sure. make YouTube videos. And he- he's also acting, he's also acting as if he had no part, he played no part in this. Yeah, he had all of his rights stripped away by that wolf call. Well, apparently. They were... They, they 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 unfairly criticized terriers and when i innocently tried to point out that they would be that they were wrong they viciously tore me to shreds yeah that's exactly what happened southpaw definitely Fucking dweeb. <laughs> viciously oh my god wolf sci- wolf bionically attacked him he implanted false memories it doesn't really get much worse than that you, oh my as god. a human being that's like wolf. the cardinal sin Wolf pit, wolf put Salfo in a in a stasis uh, in a stasis pod and put a bug in his brain. He got bugs in his brain. He's bug. got Salfo's got a couple of bugs in his brain. Definitely. He's got. He's 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 uh, he's already half half a lithid. He won't he won't get that reference, but uh, he's gonna think we're actually diagnosing his brain issues. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna think like, whoa, <laughs> well, attacking my character. They think I they, they think I actually have a bug. In. It's like, it, well, you think I have autism? <laughs> yes. Southpaw, take a break from the internet and go play some like Baldur's Gate for like six yeah, months. Maybe play, you'll uh, feel better. Go play Bubble Trouble. Go play Bloons Tower Defense 12. Hey, now. Hey, now. I take that as a personal attack. This man loves his Bloons. I haven't played that in nine months. Come on. <laughs> nine he, months? He remembers to the exact day. Now I'm seeing people cheering Wolf on for his blatantly disingenuous and abusive attitude during this call. Yeah! That, that was he spent us. the entire duration of just going for my jugular, <laughs> twisting any knife that he could, and in turn, vindicating my initial decision to just go no contact with them. I wish Go I no contact. He's, he's such but a redditor. Past experience, uh, I tend to freeze when I'm put into these sorts of situations. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Being as calm as- the sacred cow slaughterer. Tends to freeze. That's who's speaking right now, right? Yep. I'm just making sure because yeah. that's really funny to hear from him. Yikes! I tend to freeze when I'm in this situation. I tend to freeze when people on the internet disagree with well, me. When people on the internet talk to me in a one-on-one conversation, I tend to freeze when people just talk, talk to me. Yeah, talk to me talk. in the most calm, collected manner. I tend to freeze. I th- oh God, it's so funny that this guy was just like so aggressive and and like just just aggressive and mean to to his to his critics and he's like wolf said mean things to me and it made me cry the self-masturbatory oh. nature of calling yourself something like the sacred cow slaughterer and then I'm, i usually freeze up in these situations like i i'm i have a critical eye for analysis with film but the second you push back against me, oh boy, you better not do that because I will curl right, up in a ball. Oh man, I'm really scared now. Listen up, li- listen, li- listen up, liberal. If you disagree with me, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and you don't want, you won't like me when I cry. Oh, <laughs> you and you, you're gonna feel so bad. You won't Fries, like cut me when to- I save. <laughs> Cut to Hassan Crocodile Tears. I had what? friends who provided a much needed support system who witnessed everything as it played oh out God. or learned of it sometime after the fact who were able to listen to me and reassure me that I wasn't crazy as much as I was being led to believe by some. I don't believe that I would have made it to today without them. There were times where I definitely felt tempted to just throw in the towel, but now. 
nowadays. Hold on, okay. I want to go back to. I had an episode this evening. <laughs> yeah. I had an episode this evening. I've been in a battle against depression and anxiety. I love. I love. I've been in a battle against anxiety. The fuck does that sounds mean? like a Jordan Peterson tweet from like 2020 or something? I've been feeling a mixture of isolation, exhaustion, loneliness, and grief that I've bottled up for for so goddamn long because of some stupid notion that it's a show of strength. But t- today I'm tired of being strong. Oh my. God. God. I'm not well. And I desperately uh, need help. They need help. I'm seeking a therapist to see this coming Friday. Uh, okay. Now, so, viewers at home watching, for, who are for some reason watching, <laughs> do you think that Southpaw has demonstrated prior to, the, to, prior to this post on the, uh, what is, what's that, the 18th of January? I was like, I was looking at that for ages. I was like, that's not 18 months. On the 18th of January, would you say that he's demonstrated strength? Imagine if one of you guys said to me these kinds of things. Or if you made a video similar to this and you made a mm-hmm. statement like this publicly. Yeah. It's hard if to I, imagine. But... Yeah, it's hard to imagine. But let's just, for the sake of the hypothetical, let's imagine it. Let's say, let's say this is me. Yeah, the, the absolute... Best faith response I can have to that kind of action is, okay, that has to be the final, uh, what's it called? The final word on this matter, the final word on this drama, and then that's it. Then you get off the internet. No more talking about this drama ever, because if it affects you, if we're at the point where we're talking about you nearly committing Suicide. At this point, it's so far beyond Terius or EFAP or anything. It really is about your mental psyche. That's no, actually- listen. No, Fries. Anybody, anybody would break. This, this is this is a warning. The South Pole's story is a warning to all all of us that if you if you criticize somebody's favorite TV show, then you need to deal with the fact that they'll just kill them. Okay, but Fungus, think about this. This victim impact statement started out with none of this affects me in real life. It doesn't really matter. And it ends with him saying, oh, by the way, I nearly committed suicide over this drama. I had to hand over my guns to my neighbor because I was that close to committing suicide. That's how serious this is to Southpaw. According to him. If I mean, thank God. He says in good faith. Thank God, this is all on the internet, and it didn't matter in real life. Could you imagine if it if it was real? I mean, it is, it is the most ridiculous escalation I've ever seen. That's accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I I can't believe that it's gotten this in this head. It's that important to Southpo, even though he's barely a YouTuber. You made yeah, one exactly. video in the in the last two years. Like, thank. God, Southpaw didn't become more popular. The he, dude would have been in a popular, very bad mental himself. state. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, and I'm not even like trying to make jokes. Like, uh, we've seen a lot of YouTubers or streamers or whatever with these like, you know, they're just just mentally unwell, and we've seen it end very poorly. Yeah, I'm not even like trying to make jokes. Like, if this dude was more popular, imagine the amount of hatred he would be getting compared to like, oh. Muller and Fringy and some of the EFAT people are mean to me, so I'm very mentally unwell now. It's like, count your lucky stars that, <laughs> that you weren't more popular, and you're able to just walk away from your YouTube channel and shit, even though you won't do it. If this was truly Southpaw's final statement on this matter, then we wouldn't have, we wouldn't be talking about this today. I wouldn't really be covering Southpaw anymore, because clearly... You can't actually handle any kind of pushback like that. But as we'll see, this wasn't Sapo's final statement, not even close to it. It's a year later and he's still talking about the same drama that he's talking about now, so clearly he's not as affected by it now. One of you click play. You right, click it! Felt no. to just throw in the <laughs> towel, but nowadays... I'm gonna be okay. I'm going to be okay. I have a group of friends. Sorry, 
I, I, I hate to pause it so quick, but I don't want to talk over the video. Um, just, it's so, it's, the, the way, he, the, the choice of words, so funny. It's, he's just like, I was just tempted to throw in the towel. Just like some days, because people disagreed with the Ontarios, I was tempted to kill myself. I mean, that's, yeah. that's hilarious. That's frankly hilarious. Fungus, even if you want to say there's tons of other stuff going on in South Post Life, and that was the final straw that broke the camel's back, you can't blame all your problems on the straw. It's not really fair to say that, oh, Maul and Freeney nearly made me commit suicide because that's the narrative that his friends ran with back when this video yeah. came out. Which is fucking ludicrous, by the way. Obviously, that's not true. Obviously, Maul and Freeney doesn't want Southpaw to kill himself. That's no, ridiculous. I'm, I think I think they do. We're not EFAP fans anymore, or haven't been for uh, a while, at least. It it's not it's and it's not even it's like oh, EFAP. It's just like we've just kind of like outgrown that kind of stuff, and we're not. It's not our thing anymore, really. Yeah. And, but so he can make the cope that we're like EFAP fans and we're trying to defend them, but at the end of the day. Mahler and Fringy were pretty cordial with Southpaw, despite the fact that they didn't need to be, considering this guy is like so incendiary whenever you go against any of his ideology. So I don't know, man. I I think they were they were almost too nice, I would say, but that's oh, yeah. just my opinion. They were a lot nicer than I would have been. <laughs> Same. You would have made him kill himself, Fungus. <laughs> I'd, uh, he would have faced the full might of my psionic powers. And my psionic punch. <laughs> Friends I enjoy socializing with and talking about the usual stuff involving movies and TV shows. Is this, uh, I wonder if this one of this, these friends is SK. Oh, man. Uh, oh. Gaining recognition at my job and will likely be going into management by the end of this year. Oh. And in a few months, I'll be okay, that's good. Blog. That's good, South, episode. but who the fuck cares? Yeah, I'm preparing to shift my focus onto writing a series of books that I've been developing for many years. Okay, so <laughs> just to quickly mention, he says this in this section, I've only ever heard him talk about this series of books once another time. He, he never talks about it. It's a series of crime books. But I, I don't even oh, know what the, these crime oh, books great. are about. Terriers, well, obviously they're going successor. to obviously they're going to be inspired by terriers, but I just, I just simply don't think Southport understands enough about like how crime drama works. I don't, I don't know if he actually released any of these books or if they're all just in the pipeline indefinitely. I think they're all in the pipeline currently, yeah. currently at least. It's just why why it's just weird to mention this in this section. I don't know what all the future has in store for me, except that every day we'll have a new sunrise to gaze upon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sometimes Fucking queer. That's all I really need. Okay, so I added that screenshot because it's just so <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucking funny how Southpaw is so uh, like he acts like he's fucking ascended to another plane and then the very he's next day he, he's so aggressively calling out Wolf on his Twitter. Even though he knows that Wolf won't respond because Wolf is not a public figure. So it doesn't really make sense. To oh call him my out. God. He tweeted this with fucking a red face and tears flowing out of his eyes. Go fuck bulging, yourself! Bulging fiends. His eyes Jeez. were coming out of his head. Any attempt to reach out to him better be preceded by a public apology for what a fucking, fucking, bu fucking bullying bastard. Why is there a comma? I don't, I don't know. A fucking bullying what a fucking bastard. bullying bastard. <laughs> you acted like in our last hey, call. Hey, hey, meme, it's for emphasis. Fucking yeah. bullying bastard. But you wouldn't use commas, you'd use periods. Yeah. Unless Southpaw is like transitioning into an Indian. But he just he makes it sound so dramatic too with what he said like right before this tweet popped up. Like he makes it sound like he was like I landed on my feet and I'm gonna be okay. It's like, bro, chill. Jesus, yeah, it's 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 clear that he's trying to make himself clearly trying to make himself out to the victim when all he is is just a vindictive child. So the next video coming up is Southpaw's video, oh. the Law and Border 
analysis, oh, EFEPs, media illiteracy, the video that's six and a half hours. How many uh, hours of that do you think is dedicated to terriers? I, I don't know. Half. So, half. Yeah, so only three of those hours are dedicated to terriers. The rest is just Southpaw criticizing whatever he can come up with. That's funny. That, that's sort of the problem with the Law and Border video. It, it's not just the length. It, it, it is, I know it's kind of stupid to complain about, but it's just too long for what it is. But it's also just so unfocused because so little of it is actually focused on their criticisms of Terriers. There is a lot of sidetrack in, in, in regards to the drama. Look, if EFAP, a lot. If EFAP had, the, had media literacy, uh, they would love Terriers. So next up, a segment from the Law and Border video. Here we go. Let's do it. Because these kinds of remarks were now on the table for being lampooned, I called it for what it is. Victim blaming. Now, before we begin, it is worth remembering that at the very beginning of this saga, I tweeted out to people following me, do not harass them, do not pester them. How fucking ironic is that threat <laughs> now? Hey look, he said, he said don't harass and pester them, you know, we can't blame him. Yeah, don't harass them and pester them, but that doesn't count me. Listen guys, don't harass or pester EFAP or Fringy. And Mola, but I'm gonna dedicate the next two years of my life telling you why you should. Don't arrest them or piss them. Just make a six and a half hour mm. video. Hey, people who only know me because of EFAP's existence, don't go pester EFAP, please. Yeah, don't don't go pester um, EFAP. They are um, they are morally uh, evil and they victim blame <laughs> rape victims. But don't pester them. Um, yeah, it's that's it's the like, last it's thing like, we want to do. It's like, it's, it's like dropping like a sack full of meat in front of a lion and say, hey, don't eat that. I wanted to make it explicitly clear that I was not on board with anyone who was going to bother them about their take here. Now. Okay, what is this shot? What do you mean? Who, what, why, why, what's going on? Why is it Guardians in the Galaxy? He's trying to show that he's held people back from being oh. like Drax here. He, oh, so Drax, so Drax is his based um, masculine audience. He, he, and he is the Peter he's Quill. Star Fungus, he's trying to emulate Mauler's editing. Which is uh, kind of right. weird to do for an anti ether video. It's it's also kind of weird just to include like random clips from Other I movies. presume I presume almost all of the clips are from hit from this uh from this show. Uh show. Video. From his video. Uh, from his film. Um they're all uh either gonna be Marvel or Marvel, um, or Star Wars, or just um, superhero movies in general. I wanted to make it explicitly clear that I was not on board with anyone who was going to bother them about their take here. Now, feast your eyes on a fraction of the filth I've had to wade through for the last two years, as my reward for that. Uh, so, now he's can you respond to what you perceive as bad? Do you see what he's doing here? Feast your um, eyes on a fraction of the filth, and then he brings up the wolf call. Yeah, well, why, is, why, is he, filth, why is he even bringing this up in the man. first place? What, what does this have wolf. to do with anything? Well, I'm going to use it again filth. here. Anyone who gives a singular peanut butter fuck about Southpaw and all this stupid shit he's going through already knows about this call because it's funny and that's the only thing of note yeah. that he's done lately. <laughs> it's a call it, with it, wolf. It's the one singular call with wolf. So I just love that he's using this as his example. It's like, um... Yeah, even, even though sure. this call, even though Wolf makes it explicitly clear in this call that it's not about terriers, yeah. and Southpaw just ignores them. And then, and then Southpaw a TV like, show pooped himself, and then turn right around and imply that Mahler and Fringy are rape apologists. And you're really gonna say? Well, feel free to fact check me on this, but there is no such record of me saying anything harsher. And factually, and factually referring to their remarks as victim blaming. Oh my! Oh, this age so wait, this okay, age so, so poorly. So Wolf is saying, Wolf said you are calling them rape apologists. You imply and that victim rape apologists. You're you're implying that they're rape apologists and they're victim blaming. And then South was like, feel free to fact check me on this, but I only said that they were victim. Blaming. How come uh, we fact checked private DMs? 
Yeah, exactly. How, how can we fact check anything that's happened that hasn't been uploaded, bro? <laughs> like, that's stupid. Also, to refer to it as whataboutism is so stupid when it's like, like, that's a decently big claim. I, I don't want to say it's a big claim to call them rape apologists. It is, but it's like coming from Southpaw, whatever. But to to write that off as whataboutism is kind of like ridiculous. It's like, you called me a rapist. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Idiot. Well, Stupid. It, it, it's Yeah, it's like, hey, listen, uh, it's whataboutism to address the <laughs> fact that I'm stupid, that, that, that I'm misrepresenting you. <laughs> oh man it's it's honestly it's honestly like those those memes that you see on twitter where it's where it's like um you see like the the giga chad and the the soy jack and the giga chad's like give me all your money you can't just mug people what about ism uh, yeah it, but that's against the law appeal to authority <laughs> <laughs> it's it's honestly like that it's like You're you call right. you, you call you understand that you call fringy and Mola. Rape apologists. That's what about is it's like no, that's that's we're arguing because you did that. Those are the actions that you took that are causing this argument. Should we set the public record straight on this uh rape apologist stuff? Like uh, to... we'll we'll do that at the end because okay. that's gonna be the giant revelation. It's gonna okay. be a big twist. Well, no, 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 all, no. all I'll say right now is that this aged so fucking poorly. Yeah. That's all I'll say. We already knew that Southpaw was being dishonest about this. We predicted this a year ago, me and Fungus. Yeah, I, I shouldn't have uh, have said that they were rape apologists. That was a horrible thing. Yeah, it kind of it kind of just defeats uh, everything, mm -hmm. doesn't it? I mean, I, I honestly can't say that I believe you. Okay. Because you've lied before. You've lied several times. And I know that you're like the most terminally online person that I've ever met. Full <laughs> <Roll> credits. <laughs> uh, wow, um, that, that fits so well. Also, it's a dishonest cut because Wolf is not talking about terriers. Southpaw, right before this, said, I hadn't seen this tweet. I'd seen other tweets. I hadn't seen this one. And that's why Wolf says, I mean, I honestly can't say that I believe you. He's not talking about Terry's criticisms. Yeah. Southpaw is making it seem like he is because he's dishonest. He knows this isn't the case. I thought he had linked the uh, the call in the description. He hasn't. So of course this, he has. Yeah, so this right here, these segments that he's playing right now, those are the only instances of the wolf call in this video. He's not playing the entire thing. And they still make him look bad. Like, I still don't know why you would put this in your video. Like, it no, just makes you look no bad. No matter what, this makes you look bad. There isn't yeah, a single second in that call that makes him look good at all. It's, like, it's so funny because he he's, in his mind, it makes him look like the victim. and But to everybody else, it makes him look weak because here he is just sitting there like, okay, maybe I should have said this. Okay, as Wolf just eviscerates him. Sacred and Cow Slaughterer can't defend himself with one single point. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that about the rape apologist. If it was never said, then fucking speak up, kid! Speak up! I don't really think I believe you. Also, I love this Lord of the Rings music. I think you're Is actually that Lord of just Rings? that spiteful. It's not really. You know, it, I, I think it's funny that you decided to open up your, your huge diatribe with, uh, or you didn't open it up with this, but you did put it in there. Something to the effect of, oh, my life, I don't have a whole lot going for me. But apparently <laughs> I never thought about, um, you know, <laughs> maybe not spending four months about <clears throat> complaining about us not liking a TV show. Grown ass man whose whole thing was all about criticism, baby raging over his friends being rightfully criticized for victim blaming a rape victim, refusing to hear me out and taunt. Refusing okay, is, to hear me is out. He, is, he, is he talking about himself? I genuinely... I genuinely yeah, don't know. He, he's referring to what he, he's saying that the wolf in those clips were baby it's raging. raging. Baby raging. But, ah, but, right. He's Stand but he's talking so baby raging. calmly. Yeah. Um this is what I mean. Wow. Sapo doesn't live in the same reality as grown ass other man people. whose whole thing was all about criticism, baby raging over his friends being rightfully criticized for victim blaming a rape victim. Rightfully. 
rightfully right. criticised. But he's victim blaming a rape victim. But then Southport pre- previously said that that's not what there, there is no record of him doing that. There's, a re- there's no record of him calling them rape. Oh, also, also here he okay. So he's saying that rightfully these people were criticised. So more of thing, we were rightfully criticised for victim blaming. But 30 seconds before that, he said, I shouldn't have said it. He changed his mind. I shouldn't have uh, have said that they were rape apologists. <laughs> that was a horrible thing yeah, it to kinda, say. Yeah, it kind of just defeat. It was yeah. a horrible thing to say. Does this make him seem disingenuous, man? Perchance. It was a horrible it's... thing to say, but I was right. So, <laughs> if if he never said it, why did he not immediately say, I didn't say that? Yeah. Well, because he was gaslit, of course. Wolf planted a, a bug in his brain. Because as you know, Wolf is using textbook gaslighting tactics here. It's those by just books that tells you. He's just reciting history and <laughs> yeah. apparently he's gaslighting. Yeah, and it, it's it's really funny because uh, Wolf knows South Pole pretty much better than anybody else. They were the closest of, out of the EFAP people, right? Wasn't yeah. they? Weren't they like buddies? And well, Wolf Wolf is the reason why South Pole got, got anywhere near EFAP. True. And Didn't Wolf this... find his uh, Mission Impossible video or whatever? Yeah, something like that. Or he invited and... him on EFAP or something like that. Yeah, and then this is what's. I mean, so. <laughs> A wolf has just perfectly criticized Southall. And he's like, wow, Wolf's baby raging. Wolf sounds like somebody who's just I at am. his wit's end with somebody in this call. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's nothing left for him to like say other than just, you're ridiculous. And like, there's really nothing else for me to say about it. Like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And, and he doesn't just sound mad. He just go. sounds sick of it, you know? Yeah. Why would he include that last part in his actually video? just that spiteful? <clears throat> no, just just you're the most terminally online person that I know, and I you really are that spiteful. He if this thinks... was if this was my video, I would never include such a vicious uh, dismantling of my personality. He he considers this to be bullying and whataboutism and, and all this other shit. That, that's how he looks at it. He genuinely thinks oh, look that at, this is bullying. Look at Wolf atta- attacking me with an ad hominem. It's like, okay, but is he wrong? Like, it's it's a pretty accurate assessment. <laughs> Again, it's like, oh, EFAP fans, it's like, bro, I don't even fucking know anything about this Wolf guy. Like, <laughs> I, this is just a funny call, in my opinion. But this guy isn't even an EFAP post, and he hasn't been for a while, so... It's completely irrelevant. Like, even if we EFAP were fans. EFAP fans, do you think... I, I don't know, maybe, I guess EFAP fans probably love Wolf still, but it's just like... I don't know. Well, yeah, EFAP fans would obviously be biased, but we're not. And we're still on Wolf's side. We're gonna go so, on the side of correct. That's because we're, um... Ba- we're pro baby ragers. <laughs> uh, we're we're also uh, rape apologists. I love being a rape apologist. I love baby raging. I do it yeah. all the time. I, I love I, Bryce, I, cut I, in some cut in some screaming from me. There you go. That, that, in, that, that, that's a good cut in pictures good, uh... of baby rape. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Uh, all right. Let's time not to do that. not only age restrict the video. This is going to be like a blacklisted video. Now. <laughs> okay. I disavow. Permanently banned. I disavow <laughs> that statement. <laughs> I'm going to edit in some baby rape. <laughs> it's like that's absolutely cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut, cut, that, cut, cut that. that, cut that. You're taking me out of context. Grown ass man whose whole thing was all about criticism, baby raging over his friends being rightfully criticized for victim blaming a rape victim, refusing to hear me out, and taunting me for trying to open up emotionally. What a great, what a great guy. Me. About <laughs> taunting me about trying to open up emotionally. This is how you know that Southall is raised by a woman. Um, mm. Because just like, they, they just didn't let me open up emotionally. Why the fuck would they? You fucking idiot. 
Okay. Open up emotionally. So, so it's not included in this compilation that we're watching right now, but following this Freeney clip of him saying, What a great guy. What a good guy you are. It cuts to Sao Paul for two minutes straight reading comments. So I cut oh, that man. out because that's just way too fucking repeatable. Yeah. Good call. Yeah, and it's just it's it goes without saying that he's misrepresented the comments anyway. So you mean to tell me the South Paul would lie it's, on the internet? It's just him reading the comments like this. Yeah, he mm. likes to Baby write people Rachel. off too. I mean, didn't he didn't he like respond to a tweet of your last video saying like EFAP fans or something like that? that, that like, that's uh, the closest thing to a direct response I've gotten. It was a and screenshot it, of the compilation. It's the picture of him in the hospital after a stroke. <laughs> and then he said, EFF fans. Even though it would take two seconds to confirm whether or not I'm an EFF fan, because I say so in the comments section. Publicly posting a picture of yourself in a hospital bed is top cringe. Oh, well, so, okay, oh. first of all, it was publicly posted. Uh, secondly, he pinned it to his Twitter. And it's been yeah. pinned to his Twitter since June. And it's still pinned today. So so that's well, on him. <laughs> that, that's listen, on listen, him. Man. You can't you can't you can't just you can't just include things in your videos, which I have included as public knowledge. Yeah. Uh, but then he will also he will also include like a private conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so my stance is our stance is it's public, so it's fair game. Great guy, man. What a good guy you are. Now, I'd like to clarify that if you are a fan of EFAP who actually argues in good faith and right. will at least hold off... Holy shit. So, I was right when I said that every single reaction clip is going to be Marvel. Oh, yeah, this is... Um, uh, it's going to be Cape sh It's going to be Cape Shit and Star Wars. What a great guy, man. What a good guy, man. What a good guy you are. Now, I'd like to clarify that if you are a fan of EFAP who actually argues in good faith and will at least hold off on making vicious attacks like this until the other person yeah. has basically drawn vicious attacks. blood, what I'm about to say is not about you. Right, well, it's about the second camp of EFAP fans I've just described. But this is largely for people. What the fuck is this editing? <laughs> He's got a clip from, of, like, Top Gun Maverick. Now it's, like, a new Spider-Man movie. What was he trying to tell me with this editing? This is not discourse. This is rage. This is the <laughs> behavior of someone who has no real interest in... Right, well, to be fair, that one comment... This was pretty... Maybe that describes that one comment, but none of the other comments are anything close to what South was. So, wait, is he, is, he say, is he saying that EFAP is at fault because of these random comments? He's talking about... Uh, he's talking about a part of EFAP's audience right here. All right, then well, he includes so. these comments as that part of the audience. So, uh, how how many fans does how many subscribers does EFAP have? I don't know, like mm -hmm. one hundred twenty five thousand. Yeah, so what, well, like a dozen comments? It's supposed to be representative of every single member of the audience. A, a dozen comments, and maybe one that's slightly bad. Well, to to be fair, Fishboy eighty eighty two makes he he is pretty he's pretty he's pretty angry here. You can tell. I mean, he, he's so he, he's so see, he's so seething. Um, we should invite him on the next time that we do uh, a video because um, I think we get along. Uh, I think we get good content out of Fishboy. His 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 rage. I mean, geez, somebody online saying that you were a mistake. Wow, that's unheard of, actually. I don't think I've ever seen that I can't that believe before. that somebody would say something like that to another person. It's almost as bad as being told that somebody has had sexual relations with your mother. It got they haven't. Likes. It's terrible. They haven't. They haven't. Okay. <laughs> My mother would never do that. <laughs> okay. Just because somebody on the internet said so doesn't mean it's true. My well, okay, hey, why didn't he it's... thumbs down the comment, Fries? What do you think's up with that, huh? My gene pool would never associate with a southpaw. <laughs> look, I think, I, look, everybody thinks it's funny, but it's not just a skill issue, okay? Putting in the effort that it takes to deserve being taken seriously, who's just resentful over their lack of whatever it is they desire in life, who has some perhaps deserved insecurities about their own intelligence. Oh, man. Oh. oh. So See, this, is the part, this is the part of the video where it gets actually uncomfortable. Southwell, Mr. I nearly killed myself because Moller and Fringy disagreed with me over Terriers is now saying that these people don't have anything going on in their life. And they lack he's, intelligence. He's the, he, he's the person who's like, 
I'm going to be okay. I'm getting a new dog, and I, I might be, I might be a deputy team leader at my, at my retail job. I might become I'm your gonna, favorite deputy. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, able, I'm going to live. This is this is the fucking guy who's telling you, the people who commented, that you have nothing going on in your life. What a fucking joke. Yeah. It gets worse. It gets That's worse. Who need an outlet for their addiction to rage, who need a sense of belonging, and who feel the need to tear other people down in order to make them feel better about themselves. That's it you. Sounds That's like you, you to me. Come on, that's so much. <laughs> also, he's literally just, describing himself. Yeah. Just, just my favorite part is like they need to feel an outlet. They need to feel somewhere where they can feel like they they need to be part of like an in group. When he, he's the one who's talking about like they took away my what? voice. Bola is like a brother to him oh. because they both don't like Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> They both really hated Abby from the last. Of I, I really need some yeah. more vodka. I, do, you know what? I disagree. I don't. I disagree with uh, the the last Jedi. Oh, my brother! My brother! You two Are we brothers, Brutus. It's you. <laughs> you two, Brutus. I think the uh... is that isn't that what he says? It yeah, or eight a two. A, a, a two well, Brutus. It, it's certainly a brutalization of the original. You as well, Brutus. I can't believe you've done this to me, Brutus. Nah, Brutus. Can't you can't be? <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, Brutus. Bru you, you can't be ah. shit. She. She man. No, nah, it's it's just he gets sad. He turns around. Brutus. F R. <laughs> you for real. For, for real, Brutus. <laughs> Bruh, for real? If Julius Caesar was like a, a Zuma like that, I, I'd fucking stab him to death. He was. <laughs> That's why he was betrayed. Selves. And they happen to have found all of those things in Ethap, which then. <sighs> Wait, sorry. Um, I was going to pause sorry. too. I don't even blame sorry. you. Sorry. Captain, Captain America over here. And who feel uh, the need to tear other people down in order to make them Captain feel better about America. themselves. And they happen. Captain America over here. He says like Friggy nailed it. Three up 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 points. Up three thumbs up. The vitriol, it's just it's too much. This is not oh discourse. God. This is rage. And just the, the fact that Sathor like capped it for his video, like, these guys are so upset right now. And it's just it's just it's just this guy with like a Captain America PFP saying like, Yeah, I agree with Friggy. <laughs> So. God, it's so pathetic that it's like six months old and it has three upvotes, bro. Like, god damn. Could you really it's not so find it, any better comments to screenshot? Jesus. It's also really funny what that um they upload videos to their to like channels that their channels, like the Thumbcast channel or like SK's channel or his channel. And so many of the comments are just like, yeah, no, you're a fucking queer. Uh, no, Freeze right. Freeze right. You are you, you are like a Timely online loser. I think that's what pisses them off the most is that they like, even even on their own channel they don't have people who are just yeah no you're totally right, bro. They get told exactly what they are. They really he capitalized can't. the N and nailed dude. That 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 deserves a down vote. It does happen to have found all of those things in Ethap, which then makes any serious criticism of Ethap come across as a personal attack. Which is probably why I'm seeing so many people who are willing oh, to no, not Dr. Charge, not, make these not insane a, defenses of Ethap, which then makes any serious sword, criticism bro. of Ethap come across not, as a personal attack. Not atheist, bro. <laughs> Nine okay. seven six zero with the anime with the Zoidberg photo, with the photorealistic Zoidberg PFP <laughs> and one reply. Yeah, that's not rape. That's not rape. That's I would know. I'm a doctor. I'm John fucking Swordberg. <laughs> I live in a garbage can. <laughs> Fuck, I'm losing them. You're losing it. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're losing it. It's really hard. <laughs> Bruv, you have lost the plot. I'm oh, it. man, I'm, I'm losing my mind over here. Probably why I'm seeing so many people who are willing to, free of charge, make these insane defenses for EFAP that you couldn't pay. No, they're actually, they're all being paid. We paid them. <laughs> insane. We paid them. We, we... These, these, are, these, are part, these are part of the uh, disingenuous misrepresentation campaign. Yeah, it's part, we, it's we all part funded. of the campaign. 
No a one friend. who is a slightly well-adjusted person, who is actually oh, happy with their lives, oh. acts in this manner. Oh. Some of them may be able to see the light one day. How are oh, you able to comment me, on like dude. people in their mental state and how happy they are in their lives when he's on record talking about how like miserable his life is? And but he did but, say, so, he did say in that victim impact statement that he doesn't have a lot of things going on in this life effectively. So yeah, well. What I find so funny as well is that he's he's acting as if these people like wow you have no life why would you why would you spend what little time you have on Earth doing this shit and he's made a six hour well, a six hour crying. video on mostly two year old drama that nobody cares about yeah. anymore only he's, he's, see, I don't know what I don't know who this video is made for apart from Southfall because you need so <laughs> much you need so much additional context so you need to watch a TV show that nobody's ever seen. <laughs> you need to watch a three hour watch party. Then you need to look through a uh, what uh, fucking eighty pages of DMs that he screenshot from Mahler's server. And then you need to look through more DMs, more private DMs. There's so much it's homework you have to do to understand this video. It, it, it's basically impenetrable. It, That's it's unironically easier to understand Halo 5's story yeah. than <laughs> A, a story notoriously known for needing all this external information to even understand a yeah. single part of what's I'm going pretty, on. I'm pretty sure I, could, I in the time it, it took Southpaw to make this video, I could explain the entirety of Warhammer 40k. Yeah. And, and this is Damn. why this is why we can't cover the even if we wanted to, it, it's just not possible to cover the video. It, it's impossible. We have lives. Yeah, I don't want to spend. No, two years. To, no, we don't. We don't have lives because we. Because we're spending well a couple of hours on a Sunday uh, on a Sunday evening laughing at South yeah. being, a, a be, being a pathetic loser. We're laughing at them, but, but no, no, this is yeah we do this all the time though, right? Like this is this is all we do. Yeah, is it's, just uh, it's, talk about Southpaw and SK. It's That's all, all that we do. I right? do. Uh, yep. to, be, to be fair, I forget their names sometimes. I have to be reminded. How do you forget their names? I just don't <laughs> think about these people until it gets brought up to me. I think about them all the time. I, I just noticed this isn't even a negative comment that the screen <laughs> up. Wait, it's been it's been upvoted. Yeah, and it's been harded like by SK. Kungaroo. Wait, why, why did he screenshot this? Why is a man I just noticed this? Why is a man who was born in the 1950, 1956 watching these videos? Doesn't yeah, but, I mean, fucking seventy year old man. Thank you if you're reading this, SK. SK. He's, not, he's a 70. He'd be like in his 60s. He'd be like Man, this, com <laughs> this comment's aged really poorly oh, given uh, recent new events. information. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Especially the last I started, one. I've started reevaluating my stance on them and my other beliefs after watching this. My beliefs? Uh, this is pretty much irrelevant, but I just want to say it anyway. I disagree on some things have to say on your other video but i appreciate the work you put you put for south pole and calling out God, the, oh, the grab this 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 guy is clearly an uh, english sound. this guy is clearly not 70 years old or whatever good job kungaroo uh, i believe it's for the best i stay away from people like mola critical jinker uh critical drinker probably probably spider-man pillar of garbage and even you what? I'm really tired of this culture war, subjective, objectively, um, woke and anti-woke crap and second-guessing everything. It's time I just pack my shit S T and leave <laughs> the side of YouTube. Cut all of you out of my recommendation. Cut all of you out of my recommendation if possible. And and SK how did this comment? And you did. You, you did, did a, great a great job, job and I'd like to support, like to support you support in Southport. Southport, But this Shit is ST too much. is too much. Thank you if you're reading SK. Okay, so this guy, this this comment, this is this is one of my problems with people is that they just don't understand how to how to write things because this is just pure stream of consciousness here. What's he actually saying? He, he's saying he, he he feels guilty for supporting and defending them against people who claim that you've had false with terrible people. And then he's saying that SK has taught has opened his eyes. And then and I appreciate the work that you've put into this. Um, and then he's also saying, I believe it's for the best. I stay away from people like Mola and you. 
I'm tired of this culture war. I'm going to pack up my shit and leave this side of YouTube and cut you all out. But, I, but you did a great job, and I'd like to support you further. This is no longer a video on cell phone. It's now going to be a takedown. Of Kangaroo and everything. He's yeah, find about. out everything about Kangaroo. Find out yeah, let's like dox to. Kangaroo right now. Find Give out where his he name lives. and address. He lives on 742 Evergreen Terrace. He lives on 1956 Six Months Ago Avenue. Kangaroo Street. And they really are going to waste away their existence, making their own lack of emotional intelligence. I'm gonna come. Their intelligence, everyone else's problem, and sending their money to grifters who don't really <laughs> have a. <laughs> Man, Jesus freak. Jesus free 2639 oh, seven month seven month months ago said nerd rotic mega base. This is the worst of the worst right Oh my god, could you imagine the vitriol that went but went into that? I, I oh, wanna man. kill this fucking person for saying this. I'm sorry, but no man alive who has that many uh action figures is mega based. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, but Nerd Nerdrotic has too many toys. Cuts to Nerdrotic's <laughs> room absolutely <laughs> infested by plastic toys. <laughs> as he as he like he probably as he derides like Funko Pops and shit and he has I'm pretty sure he has like a Luke Skywalker um he has toy a attached to his mic. Wait, does he? He has he has something like that. The first time he went the first time he went at EFAB, he talked about how he used to make meth with biker gangs, which is pretty cool. <laughs> He was in prison or something. For yeah, like that's pretty cool. Like he's just he's just gone like the entire opposite direction. <laughs> in his life. It's like so, okay, so you used, used to, to be kind of based. Used to real life Breaking Bad. Yeah, he was real life Breaking Bad, and then and now so he he's done Breaking Bad in reverse. He started off in Breaking Bad. Now he's in Malcolm in the State. Mahler, we have to cook. Honestly, it sounds like a bunch of whinging. or well, because of a show they did like also what's with the fake ball of ice? Well, yeah, this guy is so fucking ragey. He's so addicted to rage. Look at him. Yeah, he's he's kind of he's kind of freaking out here. So, he needs to get off the internet. So so for context, in in his case drama video, every time that they show private DMs and Molly talks, they got Southport's friend Jolly Chap to voiceover. Which is kind oh of, yeah, um, that's right. Yeah. There was like a weird fake voice. I completely forgot Some about that. Some weird British guy named Jolly Chap. Why they just why they just, so cringe. Why they just yeah. make an AI do it? Or, or just like, don't. I don't know. <laughs> or, just, like, or just show what, the screenshots your and don't read or just, DMs. Or just don't. I won't understand the true impact of Mahler's words unless I hear it from a guy who impersonates him. He has to be British. Also, night Nightbreed. Dude, he, oh, the CS:GO knife kid. Nightbreed is long gone. Yeah, he is. yeah he's long guy. gone. Yeah. Wait, oh what is God. he dead? Pretty much. Get rid of him. <laughs> I mean, that, that fat, that that fat piece of shit that was like opening up a <laughs> what he was wasn't he, he was opening up like an inglorious bastards DVD like what two years ago with a with like a, a zombie machete inglorious so, yeah. inglorious bastards DVD not even a Blu-ray <laughs> yeah like, it, was either, it was either a DVD or a Blu-ray and he and he titled the video like unbox like deep like Blu-ray or DVD unboxing. And it's like you're unboxing like a ten, like a five year old movie at that point. Like, oh, you're so exciting, guys. Anyway, shout out to Nightbreed. Shout out to Nightbreed. I hope you, I, I hope you're doing well, brother. Hey, y'all, subscribe to Nightbreed. Try to remember that their efforts to tear you down are really just a method of distracting them, method of distracting themselves and others. Some of the most pitiful people in existence, and you're not really obligated. Oh no, guys, he just called us out. Uh oh. Uh, Southwell just called us out. Do you still call yourself the sacred cow killer after having a mental breakdown over having your sacred cow criticized? I mean, that pretty much sums it up, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, is that really that wild to say? No wonder you screenshot that comment. Oh, How you know for a fact that he was punching the air after he read that. <laughs> Southwell stands punching the air right now. My own personal experiences with these people have taught me that you can't. <laughs> 
Oh, what a fuck. We don't really need to help them. It's just, how's your downfall? It's, it's perfectly <laughs> apt. Force them to stop being miserable oh, and wanting to drag other people down with them. We oh, need to in the bucket. That's what we are. To know that they don't have to be this way. Now, regardless of which of these two camps you may fall into as a fan of Mahler oh, and man. his podcast. All right, so that's it for the Lone Border segment. Dramatic fade out. I love it. That's, that's what also, I, I did. The that's me. I did that. <laughs> So I've been hearing a lot about this SK mother sucker and this southpaw big ass head ass stupid ass stupid ass spider-man head ass I got a message for the both of you I challenge you both to a street fight bare knuckle outside of Audi two o'clock SK you're a little man this is you, this is your head, your big fucking round head, okay? If this is you in real life, I go up to you and I'd be like, oh, hey, Spider Man, am I right? Watch out. There's 11 minutes we just watched. Those were a fraction of the fraction of all the shit that South Park said over the past year. And if you want to see more of it, you can check out the compilation I released. Because we click can't, here. We can't, yeah, click here. Click on the screen right now. Click now. But we can't cover click all now. of it. Click, click on this link so I can track your IP and make you yeah, watch you, it. You can see this as a recap of, of the bullshit that's gone on within the past year. It's it, If you have any sort of reservations about Southpaw, which I doubt if you're watching this, but if you do, I would recommend watching it because it's pretty damning. And oh, yeah. there's... No commentary from anybody. It's just edited clips, uh, or it's edited together clips, uh, all in context. There's no taking anyone out of context or anything like that. It but just also, shows you the kind of person he is, like and flat I'm, out. And I'm telling you, it's a fraction. I think we should be. I think we should remind the viewers that um, they need to be positive as well. No negative comments, otherwise I'll, you're I'll no better. Yeah. <laughs> You want to find out why Safo and SK are no longer friends? I, do. Oh, I would love to know. Please right. tell me. Well, that's. I next... thought they were the best of friends. No. That's They're the, the two best friends that anybody could have. All right, so this is Fumcast 64. It's one of the most recent Fumcast streams. Very uh, feminine energy I'm getting from these profile pictures. Oh, yeah. Well. It's, uh, it's SK and his friends covering Safo Spider-Man 2 video. Which is... Oh. Kind wow, of cool. that's yeah. fucking masturb masturbatory. So Sa Sapo was a part of this stream for the first hour or so, and then he left. And then mm. in the meantime, uh, SK and his friends talked about the one scene with the bully in Spider-Man 1. The scene where mm -hmm. he fights the bully and he makes the trip. Well, you, Do you know what scene I'm talking about? Flash. Flash. Yeah, yeah. Where, where two 30-year-old men having a fight in the middle of a high school. <laughs> in a high school yeah. hallway. The, the scene where he punches Flash 20 meters back and he makes a triple Yeah, yeah. That, that, that makes me laugh so much because it's like, wow, it's weird that Peter Parker is, is suddenly turned into a superhuman monstrosity. Right when Spider-Man comes around. <laughs> he sounds, yeah. And he sounds exactly like Peter Parker. <laughs> Didn't he have a web attached to him at one point in the school? Remember when he? Remember when Mary Jane fell and Peter caught all of her food on a, on a plastic tray? I saw that a hilarious weird. edit of that where he lets her fall and he's like, "I missed the part where that's my problem." Yeah, I remember because I sent it to you. I missed the part Love where that's that my problem. <laughs> Cut that. Okay, so. so, so, so. <laughs> So, Sa <laughs> so, so South Pole left about an hour ago, and then he's been lurking in the live chat of this. Oh live my god, stream. that's so. That's Why do you so leave sad. then? Yeah, he left to go fucking tweet about Mahler and Co. So <laughs> I feel bad. Yeah. Fry set this up, and then we sidetracked it so much. Yeah. So this is we're we're learning how SK and South Pole fell out. SK here. is this talking is... about. Uh, a scene from Spider-Man 1, he made some arguments. Southpaw is writing to him in live chat saying he's coping. That's all the setup. Right. Made. There's more okay. to it. I don't want to go into details because it's so fucking autistic. You'll see right. More. Sounds like it already. Yeah. So, SK's talking with his friends. They're coming the video. This happened like... They talked about this scene like, what, 20 minutes ago? They're not talking about this right now. They're just watching the video. Then Southpaw and his friend, Sheev, suddenly joins. Let's see. Just randomly gets. Oh, the 
God damn it, I made that same mistake again. To kiss him similarly to how she once kissed Spider-Man, and in the middle of it, she seems to have this epiphany that leads her to arrange a meetup with Peter so she can kiss him again. Because I, as I guess the one that's Chief. The first films oh, that's oh, he's back. Oh god. That him who saved her from a gang of uh, we gotta have an intervention. How's it we going? Oh shit. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I had, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had I had to tell Sheev about about what I was hearing. <laughs> How was it go? It's you cope. Okay, point. I'm sorry. Triple backflip, standing <laughs> up, no momentum. Point. Dude, okay, come how, on. Okay, do we really point? have to what's put? Point? Do you really? Uh, do you really uh, want to no, argue bro. with the references? Argue with the references. Oh, why is that? Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think SK is be, uh, South was being more reasonable when he comes in because he, he, he's clearly laughing. About SK being the gigantic autist that we personally know him to be. It's like, oh, I'll give me the references. I'll give me the references. But yeah, so we we can put we personally can attest to the fact that uh, that SK is a, a raging artist. An a raging artist. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, it's just because we're covering but, this section of Filmcast 64, it doesn't mean that we're defending SK. SK and Safo are retarded in their own ways. Yes. They're both being stupid in this situation. Just to be clear. So and at least Safo, at least at least at this point, is coming across better than SK. Oh yeah, sure. Because SK is like talking over him. He's he's doing his favorite thing, which is just repeating the same point again over and over. Argue with the references. The most Argue. artistic response. Well, yeah, that's because SK, good old SK. Is a pants shittingly autistic retard. I so, yeah, that it's not that I have a personal problem with that retard. Anything about gymnastics? Be like, because, yeah, okay, no, you're, you're a superhuman. He literally goes flying back like he got hit so by a what? fucking you don't have truck. That's not a point. <laughs> that isn't a point. That is not a point. Is, is, I, hate, I hate to do this, but is Asuka's argument the fact that Peter Parker doing like a backflip is Proof enough that he's a superhuman. I'm, I'm doing the I'm doing the thing where I try, where I try and get involved in the argument because I just love drama, guys. You love drama. love it. I love oh, drama. Yes, so. it is. No, it is. No, it is. That is not a point. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone, please. That is not a point. I'm sorry. I, Saying he did love, this oh, crazy God. thing. Where's that? Where's that? Yes, Muppet? it is. Uh, also, just to be clear, none of these other people involved in the call matter. At all. They, they barely even say anything. Wow. Other than occasionally laugh. It's only SK, Sheev, and Safo. And funny enough, they're in the middle. So. Hey, hey. You only have to focus on them. It's not the aliens. Oh, oh, like, like, oh well, Peter, in Tasm, <laughs> Peter fucking bends the, the post goal. with the football. Therefore, what? My, oh. my criticism is that okay. he shouldn't have taken the risk. <laughs> that was my main point against it. I don't really care about them not knowing. What? No, but they should. They should. No, they should they know. know. <laughs> wait, he shouldn't he have should taken the he's risk. Spider Man. So wait, his argument is that Peter shouldn't have taken the risk. Peter, at this point in Spider Man Two, Peter doesn't know that he's Spider Man. He, he hasn't established that he is Spider Man. He he's punches still... Flash and like looks at. He's like he's blown away that he was even able to do it. Like yeah, he, you know? he hasn't. He hasn't even started his like wrestling career yet. So to say that he shouldn't have taken the risk, Peter is at this point acting almost purely by instinct. Yeah, he, he just should. feels weird and doesn't know what's happening, and then he responds to a flight or fight situation with fight, and it turns out that he's really strong. Yeah, because he, he looks at his hand like, "What the fuck is this?" And then, and then doesn't just go like, "Isn't doesn't that cut to like the scene of him on top of the building, um, trying to get the web to work?" I I'm pretty honest, sure that's I like the scene after Spider Man. So, <sighs> no, I'm talking about Spider Man Two, not the Amazing Spider. -Man. Oh, okay. oh, wait, is that what they're talking about? The Amazing Spider. -Man? I thought they were talking I about Spider Man One. It's kind of hard to follow their conversation. I think they. I, I think Somebody they, just brought up Amazing Spider Man. I think they were using that as an example for something else. But yeah, I'm pretty but, sure they're talking about Spider Man One. Yeah, the, well, yeah, they have to be talking about Spider Man. Come on, okay. dude! What do you, what do you mean? Come on! Okay. okay, so again, you are basing you are basing this off a bunch of this off a bunch of know that a regular person can't do a regular person can't do the backflip in the air. Can, can I have one argument? Sense? 
can I have one one argument outside of can I have one argument? Are, are you are you fucking with me right now? Can are you, you like make, intentionally okay, trying to make, make an so argument? Oh can my you make god! An argument. S- can you okay. make an oh, argument? God. Lucas. Oh S- dear S- god! Somebody's it. disagreeing with me. He must be fucking with me because it's impossible for someone else to have a different opinion than me. SK with his patented repeating myself because I'm autistic, choking on his own voice cracks. No, 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 Listen, he's Super actually hit. known around Dude. the school up until this point they know for being he's a like, nerd. A dweeb, uh, like a dweeby little or, kid. Or he lied about it, or, like or he's lying to cover no, up shit. anyone. That, no. Why is that? Okay, actually, no, why is that no bullshit? Way. No, I... Like, can we because, act? Can we hear a point that, for what is wrong with that? The idea that somebody has such an autistic argument. The idea that somebody has such an autistic argument. That is weird. Dude, that's ridiculous. to me, and I will explain to you what's wrong with that. So, this unironically, like, was the beginning of, like, their falling out. Yeah. This is so pathetic. This was the catalyst for their falling out. Could you ever imagine having like an argument with a friend like this even even if you have an argument with your friend like this could you imagine it leading to something like that like talking about differences in a fucking movie made like 20 years ago and it's just like it's a fucking comic book spider-man movie made by sam raimi assuming oh shit Sam Raimi must have taken this into account with the how unrealistic this is. It's like it's fucking Spider Man. It's not realistic. It, I don't. It brings me. It brings me no small joy that this all started with Spider Man Two and it all ends with Spider Man. Oh, we've gone full circle. It's, it's like poetry. We've gone full rhymes. circle. It's like poetry. It's like poetry. It Each stanza compliments the previous. <laughs> yeah, Jaja is the key to it all. SK, uh, like Southpaw look, uh, looking across at SK, he's like, I just we've gone too far. Places. <laughs> Let him, what's wrong with Paul's that is that if he, <laughs> are you hearing yourself, Jesus SK? Christ, if, he, if he's lying about his acrobatic abilities, then that, that means he has something to hide, doesn't it? Why would what he lie that? about that? And that could have been, and and that, and that could have been due to him do. working out. What's your point? Okay, once again, what's... to pause. Um, We've all been to school, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, was there ever a person in school with you that had just like this secret life that nobody ever knew about? Um, like one of the one of the nerdy kids, let's say. One of, the uh, one of these. One, yeah, one of these like assuming <laughs> one of these unassuming dorky nerdy kids that everybody turns out to be like, I don't know, like a will like a, a nationally renowned kickboxing champion. Um, obviously not going to be mentioning any names, but there was literally like this kid, there was this, he was, I say kid, he was the same age as me at the time, but he got made fun of for being real stinky all the time. And like, he just was like a stinky guy that changed later in his school career. He started to not stink, but he got ripped out of his fucking mind. And, uh, he was like one of the strongest kids in our class. And he just. He he started doing like MMA fighting and stuff like that, like outside of school, and uh, everyone so, thought that was like really cool. They were like, "Wow, this guy, so, really, this guy really turned things around." But but was that when he was in his stinky phase? Was he was he doing his MMA stuff then, or was it stinky phase MMA and then ripped? I think it was stinky phase starts working out during stinky phase gets strong <laughs> then starts becoming you know the MMA fighter. Okay, but it was noticeable that he was actually like physically improving. Uh yeah, cuz when we would be in like gym class and he would take a shirt off, people would be like, "When the hell did he get ripped?" Yeah. <laughs> like, so th- this argument that like you, this argument that you have like a secret life that you're hiding doesn't really work in school because you all pretty much live you live close enough together that you would know if somebody was you know like a a champion like an internationally renowned oh yeah totally it wasn't like he was like he was like winning trophies and shit for competitions but it wasn't anything like you know like i don't want to not trying to shit on the guy it wasn't anything like massively important but it was like cool that he you know he's probably won more mma trophies than i am Probably, yeah. But this argumentation that oh, but the, but he has a secret life. I'm pretty sure if 
one of the dweeby dorks in my school was a national level gymnast. It would have it would come out it would have come out sooner than the, his last year in school. Are you you're trying to refute SK's point here then? Um, I'm just About, I'm just uh, yeah I'm, I'm just, just making I'm just, points. I'm just in it for the love. I'm just in it for the love of the game. Yeah, Fergus is not <laughs> even sure at this point. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm I'm not really tracking who's making what arguments. I'm just tracking the arguments themselves. But I think it's a stupid argument to make that this is that it's perfectly viable to for you know a, a, a for like a nerdy dork to just some just from out of nowhere demonstrate extreme physical conditioning and coordination that ha- which is from out of nowhere. I think it's a bit of a stretch to say that he he's obviously Spider Man. <laughs> but yeah. but it's like it, it 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 would it would cause you know it'd be like oh that's a bit odd but then again this is a superhero movie these aren't very serious things wow what you know, about wow yeah. you can't uh, objectively criticize a comic book movie like well you wow. you can you can if you're a pathetic virgin like SK and so <laughs> um but if you're a based giga chat like me, uh, you just you you just uh, you 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 know that there that there, there are certain things that you just like you, you just got to accept. Wow, foreshadowing! <laughs> I don't even know how that's foreshadowing. I'm that's, just using terms I know. That dumb teenager. Is, is even point. if oh, he's even using even names. If we were accepting that these kids are actually fucking stupid. Yeah, and don't kids know tend to be stupid. Whatever. They're not kids. Even oh if we're accepting, God. yeah, they're like, they're like, you they're realize like, that it is not possible. In the end of high school, they they, they know they know how causality works. In the sternum and send him flying twenty feet. And, and you the, know this because why? How do you know this? That would not happen because it's not possible. Because how do you know that? How do you... physics <laughs> oh, sorry that the that the kids aren't you know fucking what, familiar wait, with. Wait, 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 wait. I, Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you did you not know this yourself at that age? It it doesn't matter. Okay, Sounds what if I didn't like a know? Skill issue oh to me, buddy. I feel oh, like, and, and, again, and this goes against what I just said about ignoring their argument, but I feel like this, they're, they're at least SK maybe is, they're, I feel like they're both dancing around the fact that it's like, yeah, that couldn't realistically happen. That couldn't realistically happen. It's like, it's, he's fucking Spider-Man. <laughs> is there any sort of realism to Spider-Man? Yeah, see, this is, this is the problem when you try and make arguments from realism in superhero movies they just don't work because you can't compare this movies. to a real life scenario he has super spider strength like i, I don't understand yeah but i i, I get I, I get southpaw's argument where it's not normal to punch somebody in the chest and send them 20 feet flying back because oh, bruce lee well no i've punched i've punched people pretty pretty hard in the chest and they don't fly through the air, they just fall down. If this was, if this was, I don't know, Michael Mann's heat, and uh, <laughs> Al Pacino... Robert De Niro punches, punches fucking Al Pacino yeah. across the and restaurant. Yeah. Backflip with no momentum. Where, where Val Kilmer picks up a car and throws it, uh, <laughs> and throws it at the police. And he throws a bomb like, that Whoa. disintegrates people into skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. We'll meet again! Well, this is the problem when you have when when you make these arguments from like realism standards and have have these you take these um, unrealistic and unreasonable objective standards into movies because th- you start to argue about well this is realistic well I disagree that it's realistic so it's not realistic whereas yeah. if you if you just approach it as like okay this is a superhero movie. I'm going to suspend my disbelief. They have no idea what that means. Why doesn't Doc Ock die when Spider-Man punches him once in the head? C- can we map this out in a chart of some kind? Yeah, it's, well, yeah. Why, why didn't Doc Ock um, torture Harry Osborn to death uh, to get the information out of him? I would have done that. <laughs> like, these, these people are approaching um, movies as if they're, like, D&D games. So we're talking about high schoolers who could very easily, yeah, kids. They tend to be really fucking stupid, even not in high kids. school. I don't see what this point is. <laughs> that stupid. Um, I mean, I, I, I hate, I hate that we pause just like every like two seconds. Um, 
What are we, some but, kind of EFAP? I'm about to brap. I'm about to brap. Brap? I ain't gonna brap so hard. I'm such a brap hog right now. Brett's getting um, so much mileage out of that stupid joke. He is. <laughs> Brett loves it, and I hate that he loves it. I love um, that. I love that guy. Hey. And he was a good He's friend. Right. He's and he friend. was a good friend. He's dead, um, He's dead now, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah we, 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 had to, we had to kill him. Well, he disagreed with our take on Superman or whatever, so you know he's out. But <laughs> oh, Superman, so we had to, so we had to garrot him. He disagreed yeah, with our he's... take on Superman sixty four. So what, what we had to do, we had to, we had to, we had to, rit- we had to ritualistically burn he him. He called the game "quote unquote" mediocre. So unbelievable. So, yeah, uh, he said I had to go outside, uh, so I burnt him to death. SK and South Force seem to like be woefully underestimating how, like, woefully underestimating like a, a seventeen, eighteen year old. Like a seventeen or eighteen year old, you should be old enough where you you're basically like expected to be a fully functioning, independent adult. I mean, not too long ago, we would send like kids, like kids that age, kids, uh, people that age would go to war. Like the U.S. Army would set was sending like eighteen year olds to Afghanistan and Iraq, and you can't ex- like they're, they're going across and fighting in wars and dying in wars and like oh well they they can't be expected to understand that somebody doing a triple backflip and uh, some dorky nerd doing a triple backflip in the middle of a hallway is is crazy they were just retards like well maybe you were at eighteen but I uh, but I, I I'd know if some if, if one of like the fat if one of like the dumpy dorks just managed to punch the shit out of like the uh, the captain of like the rugby the team. premier school bully yeah yeah it's like. Also, a guy that outweighs him probably, probably like a hundred pounds. <laughs> True. Yeah, no, it's it's fine. Just like punch him so hard, like he flies across the room. Okay, like, Harry Osborne. The, Harry Osborne. Okay, why don't we talk about why don't Harry we talk Osborne. about why don't we talk about the actual important characters like Harry? What about ism? Harry, for example, do you think he would be smart okay, enough to sure. piece this together? Do you think MJ would? Do you think she would? Harry Osborne. Do you think I, she actually like is well versed in I, science or anything like that? <laughs> no, she's not, actually well versed in stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, being being well versed. Oh, you don't have a degree in physics. Well, I'm sorry, you can't know that punching somebody twenty feet off their feet whilst being like a hundred pounds lighter than them is weird. SK is uh, literally saying. Seeing somebody punch another person twenty feet across the room and you calling it weird, he will un- unironically tear around to you and say, "Uh, source." It is pretty cringe that Southpaw just like rejoins to be like, "Erm, actually," but if they're watching his video, I guess it's fair. Well, he said it was going yeah, to he- sleep, so yeah. But sleep for him is climbing into bed and going on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. So it's not science. So therefore, you can't hold it against her. There- it's not it science. I'm not science. science. You being able to observe stuff with your eyes isn't science. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying you're talking about these? Wait, wait, wait. So you're no, 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 no. You are talking. You are talking about these extra and fucking nobody characters that we don't see for the rest of the film. Why do we give a shit about this? Seriously. For the same reason we should give a shit. Miles is okay. It now makes perfect sense why they're not friends. It gets worse. Like, to, like we, 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 we were laughing about the fact that, well, you have one disagreement with your friends, and now you're no longer friends. It's so clear that these people should never have been friends in the first place. Just don't have friends. Well, you have the slightest argument. I, I can't speak for SK. He's handling this pretty poorly. It, like, he's not handling it well, but, you know, as we know with, with uh, Southpaw, the slightest disagreement with this guy will just put you on, like, a blacklist. You'll see. So... I'll see. Oh my god! Well, I'll see. On, why are you mad over a Raimi movie, dude? For the same reason. <laughs> I'm making arguments here. Argument. You're not making Ooh, arguments. You're just saying that it's coping. Oh, that, Jesus that's fucking the Christ, dude! Oh, you're Woo! Woo! Oh, he's getting real. Dude, did you hear that? I feel like I'm in the call, dude. I feel like I'm in the moment. Oh my god, he is. He is. He is not coping. Did I see this or not? No, no. no. Uh, we 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 agreed. We agreed that this would be uh, this would be our. Um, oh like, right, 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 right. I've already okay, seen yeah. all of this, but this is your guys' fungus, reaction. and I haven't seen. Yeah, yeah. dude, yeah. This, this is, is this is wild. wild. <laughs> this gets worse. Trust me. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ! Could you? Jeez, like, I bro. I could not imagine ever 
reacting to something that you <laughs> something that you guys have said to me about a TV show or a movie like that. So, but okay, we've but, had some heavy disagreements before about things like where we just see things on completely different spectrums. Yeah, and, and it's not, and it's, and it's, and it's like at least it's, it's, it's much more significant stuff than like Spider Man. Yeah, you're right. It's like shit that actually like impacts things that we care about not it's, it's, a fucking it's, movie from 20 years ago yeah it's not just like this movie it's it's the way that we fundamentally see the world and, and, like, some world and we've never i don't think we've ever ye- like actually yelled at each other we, we, like yelled actually at each other, yelled. but not in a in a, we, well, in a like an, in a meme i don't i've yeah. never been so mad at one of you guys that I, like i've had to yell at some of the autistic members of like pave before but like I've never yelled at anyone I consider like my friend. Yeah, I've never, so I, I've ne- I haven't spoken to pretty much anybody that I can think of. Um, like SK just yelled at Southport just now. I've been I've been like catastrophically annoyed with people, but I don't. Do, I, I have never just been like Jesus Christ, man. Keep in mind that, that SK is... said that Wolf was abusive. In the call between him and Southpaw. That's a good point. Southpaw could Southpaw could just kill himself at any second. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Wolf was abusive, but meanwhile, fucking SK is fucking losing his mind. He's making my ears bleed with his yelling. Oh yeah, Southpaw. Um, this is a, officially um, truce. I, I'm offering. Uh, we're offering a truce. Uh, if you want to come on and talk about the abuse that you suffered at the hands of SK, we are more than happy to. Could you so, imagine, SK bros? It's so over. SK, SK, bro, bros, SK bros, it's never been so over. <laughs> it will never be back. Has SK passed his science? His SK, high school has science? Has SK punched someone 20 feet back? I wanna know. <laughs> I, I, SK, this is official. I, I'm officially calling you out. Um, I want you to punch me as hard as uh, you can in my chest. Or the Standing other way around. Here. No, no. He punches me, and then I punch him. Yeah, self-defense. So, yeah, it's self defense. You actually fly back just like Flash did. <laughs> oh my god. Could you, imagine, could you imagine if I did? Oh wow, I've been embarrassed. Oh no. <laughs> this is this is the uh, this is SK the Bros, we're so back. SK Bros are so back. Focus this is the Bros opposite of the air right now. That's where I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna keep like a thirty eight a thirty eight special revolver in like a in like a boot hole <laughs> stage as a case like, of Call of Duty last stand mode. Shit. Him in the face. As yeah, like he punches me in the chest, I fly back twenty feet, and as he's gloating, I just pull it out, just empty like as you're flying in the air, you shoot him, empty the entire cylinder into him. (laughs) Why didn't Green Goblin just pull out a gat? Oh my god, could could you? uh, It's so funny. Like that's probably why the military didn't accept the Green Goblin suit because they're like, oh, we've got these goblin grenades. It's like, okay, but where's the gun? (laughs) Yeah, where's, where's the where's goblin the, gun that turns people into skeletons? I want that. Where's, where's the gun? Oh well, we didn't ha- we didn't have any guns. Why? With the army, <laughs> we have grenades already. We have some thirty caliber machine guns on this glider, though. Oh, it's impossible oh. to aim that motherfucker, though. So yeah, he never he used that once and he never used it again. <laughs> when he could have just shot the shit out of Spider Man, like wow, fifty different Imagine times. Imagine him flying around with like two Glocks. <laughs> oh my god! Like um, Glock, Spider-Man Glock. can dodge bullets, though, idiots. Glock, Glock eighteen with the, with the standos. Oh, based. Oh my god! Oh damn! I the Goblin Glizzies. Oh, <laughs> the Goblin, the goblin Glizzies got me acting on wise. <laughs> All right, I want to watch this friendship fall apart oh because I'm a horrible person, of course. Oh yeah. Uh, the Green Gob- the Green Goblin has like a red like uh, a red band. Albert on. Einstein. To know, like, blood. whoa, that person's mm-hmm. got superpowers, dude. Okay, hey, again, why, why would they know? No why way. would they know? Right. What is your point? Yeah. Makes- Did they look into how because- what with the human capacity for gymnasts or martial artists or whatever, whatever the fuck? Seriously? Well, like I, think- I said, this would be like one of my classmates picked up a car and threw it at, at the wall, and I was just like, oh, I don't know if that's possible or not. So okay, I thought you he, he didn't do anything of that <laughs> level, so this isn't a... This he didn't do anything of that level. He he managed to pick up and throw effectively another human being with one arm. I mean, you could maybe shove somebody that far if the floor was extra slippery that day due yeah, to the but janitor. It's, Cut yeah, to but Charlie it's, uh, buffing the floor in an episode always sunny. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, it's clearly like, like Flash is flying through the air. It's, it's ridiculous, no doubt. And he gets food spilled on him. 
It's the ultimate insult. It's food poisoning. I think there's something I'd rather be flashed than Peter Parker. back. Okay, you can keep repeating it. That doesn't make it an argument. Oh, SK of all people saying that. Oh, man. What a fucking group of dweebus is. Guess what? Oh, no. Jesus. We're recording something, Nico. Oh! oh! Quick, Nico, uh, give, give, a, give a message to SK and Southall. Please. I could beat any of you. I could find any of you. I could outrun any of you. Yes. More. More. Right, more, more energy. More. More. I will fucking kill you. Yeah. I will kill you. You will die. Yeah. You will die. Yeah. 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 Right, Bye, guys. But Thank you. Uh, so that keep, that, video, keep that. Uh, keep that. Keep that in the video. To, um, his channel. Keep that in the video. That's hilarious. <laughs> subscribe yeah. to his channel. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are, wait, 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 no, no. Answer, answer the question. Answer, answer the question. How would they know? How would they know? Answer the question. Answer the question. Are we intentionally? No. Are we intentionally forgetting about the part where Peter moments ago shot a web at Flash's tray? And Why would they think that's a web before that's even Spider-Man? They would just figure that's some sort of contraption. That web is talking about when they find some sort of contraption. It's some. It's some sort of quirky nerd contraption. They won't remember it like that at all. They're just gonna think it's some kind of contraption he made. Go go net gadget. They also, can, there's no they can still figure it's some I will, kind of contraption. I will concede it's a bit I'm lucky sorry, that a, nobody a contraption saw it. Even if it's out a no, web, no, no, which even if it was the way, they're not going to fucking even if remember the fucking fine details of that. Spider -Man it's been a like... few months! But the web is still there, though. It didn't, like, dissolve. So somebody could just pick it up and be like, hey, this is weird. You're acting so, like it's, like, 20 years later. I didn't say, I didn't say that. In the cafeteria scene, he is dragging You're behind that. Like That's what I'm no, I'm not, I didn't he, say that once. Jesus. No. I just Fucking to words in my point. mouth all the Why time. Why the fuck are you getting mad? Because you two decided to Why act like immature mad? fucking this babies not... about this for no what? fucking reason. You... Jumping Whoa. and saying, oh, you're just Whoa. coping, you're just coping. Whoa. Not making any points, just jumping you in, straight coping. up being condescending. No, he... I, I just wish we had the footage, Fries, of him oh, jumping man. into that call. Ooh, Unbelievable. Ooh. Unbelievable. Ooh. Literally acting like how uh, fucking he that been. I'm fucking sick of it. Oh, okay. wow. he is a, he is oh angry. My oh my god. Oh my god. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, Hold on. We're the ones let's, who said uh, coping. We didn't even say let's anything about it. relax here. I, I uh, did. Dude. I did. I did. Hold on. Did you hear that one guy say? Let's just fucking relax here. <laughs> like somebody said the N word. Jesus, man, it it's so autistic. Yeah. Okay, God. so the, okay, this is the part where everybody takes a step back and they de-escalate. Let's they de -escalate. start laughing. Let's, yeah. Let's cool off. But that's that's not what happens. Oh. Huh? <gasps> the fuck? Yeah, not and you couldn't address okay. the points. Just... Yes. Be... I lit. We literally did it. You're literally, we we're points. literally trying to. Yeah, you're just ignoring Yeah, and I that. responded oh, too. You're doing what Whoa. ETAP did. You're doing I what responded. ETAP did. You're willfully ignoring. No, you're just you're just saying like, oh, who cares? What do you mean? So I never said like, that. I Pull a quote right now. Where did I say that? Pull it up right now. Clip source, it. Source. Where did I say who cares? Jesus. I never source. fucking said Listen. that. Pull it right now. <laughs> You're, you're, Pull you're it. saying that that's what the, that's what the kids would be would, would be saying because they don't. Yeah, they, some kids don't care. Do you think that some kids wouldn't fucking care? Why about would that? they not? I think that they would kind of care if they see one. If they don't have like, proof and they can't actually go anywhere with it anyway, okay, some people might not give a shit. Are you Thompson fucking getting... serious? Uh, SK is like the arch rational rationalist, but he just thinks that people don't have an people can't have an opinion on something unless they have all the evidence. Which is against all forms of human nature, I feel, uh, I know of. I'm I'm a little speechless right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is. Wait, what, what do you want to commentate on first? There's a I lot. Just... There's actually a lot to. I think I think the I think the most, the thing here is, SK is so angry. It really pulls so, the curtain back on this on this whole relationship. Going go, so going into this because I knew that they they had a falling. Out. I thought it would be Southall having like the autistic uh, shit fit. He kind of does. 
Well, they're well, both I mean, definitely being autistic here, regardless of who. I who think grew up, with. up until up until this point, up until now, it's definitely been SK who's like the most autistic. Oh yeah, like Southall. Uh, you know, Southall may have like I don't know. He, he could get worse. He could get worse later on. But this is clearly SK. is just holding. Yeah, he's. I mean, dude is like actually shaking right now. Like, yeah, like Southwood is coming across much better. I can't believe Holy we're saying this. Yeah, I, can't, I, mean, I, I, can't, I can't either. But he, he, he genuinely is. I can't wait to see more of this. <laughs> he's, you know, he's laughing. He's like, look, you know, he, he, he clearly isn't taking this as seriously. Maybe just a select few, <clears> but I, I don't know. I think both sides have valid points. I'm not sure. Your mic's not on working anymore. Well. Isn't now it is. Hello, now oh, it, it is. Does? Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry, it's, it's very inconsistent. Um, All right, because you were adding so much to the no, conversation. Wait, get we, better mics, guys. Break. I didn't, we, we didn't come in here with the intent of stirring up an actual argument. <laughs> well, you did. Yeah, uh, I, 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 okay, you started up by just responding. Okay, to be fair, that's kind of the songs. Just well, uh, look, we didn't, we didn't come here with the intention of starting an argument, which it's like, okay, fair enough. If you if you didn't act like look we just we didn't come here to start argument. Ask it. Well, you did. So <laughs> what? A yeah, woman. I mean, Southpaw and this fucking Palpatine profile profile picture guy joined, and they seemed jovial. You know, like they didn't really seem yeah. like they were coming in here to like be like, ah, you're an idiot. Like you know, yeah, like they, they, did, they they didn't come in as aggressively as SK is is acting now. I Which mean, I, I mean, I can't believe I'm giving Southall credit. I know. But... Southall's going to join our server soon. You started up by just that, responding. Honestly. Oh, you're just coping. You're just coping. Here we go. No, I'm not supposed I, I, I to, to read into that. that. No, that is that. what you did. Neves that is what not... you did. That is what I'm saying. You did. Oh, I'm sorry. The way the way they came. So him saying, "You're just telling. You're just saying that I'm coping." What am I supposed to read into? That? Yeah, yeah. Asking, what are you reading into that? He's he's acting as if like look, you're just coping now, buddy. It's like, whoa, okay, you're basically saying that I'm wrong and that I'm like a piece of shit. You you're not you're no worse than uh Eva. Came in here sounded like they were they were all like, completely smug condescending about it. It was like fucking obnoxious about it. Damn. <laughs> SK SK complaining about somebody being smug and obnoxious is oh. Oh, oh it, chef's it, kiss. It, it, yeah, chef's kiss. Cut to that wow. clip of him talking about EFAP or whatever. <laughs> Cut to any SK clip. What's the matter, bro? Nobody checked the little nerds' feet at the high school. You can, we can, you can roll it back to when we first jump back into the call. You're the one who first said anything about coping. You are. I'm. You are. I'm reading what's. A, whoa. Yeah. yeah right. what, what he said for beta. <laughs> yeah. what, 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 I said it in the bad. chat. Yes. In that the is chat. what happened. Okay. Jesus. Oh my god, he is okay. he his he is gritting his teeth. Holy fuck. I mean, okay. This man he, the, he is the angriest man. Damn. Ever. Even if SK is right in the scenario, he's still way too fucking angry. You lose all credibility when you speak like that in an online voice chat. Yes! That's what I said! I can't even imagine. Yes! I can't even imagine he being is. that angry. I know. I like how he's saying, like, you guys are saying that I'm coping and seeding. <laughs> not. How dare you? Oh, Actually. Okay, okay, all right, okay. But then, okay. but Steve's talking about when oh, he jumps God. into the call. <clears throat> yeah. So what? I'm responding to you when I talked about the coping. Yeah. Okay. No, you're the one who's coping, Southall. I don't you're care. The you are who I was talking about. I'm no, oh okay, my I, God. I have to disagree with you on that because it sounded like he was a, oh, he a, left. Chief left. a little jokingly exaggerating about it. I don't care. Sort of yeah, I, 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 I'm saying I make an argument. We like, and you were just like, I, <laughs> I heard the defenses you were making. <laughs> that's how you fucking jumped in. Whoa. But that sounded like an exaggerated smug to me. Hey, God, you, yeah. this guy, this guy has a friend who can get him away with these crimes. <sighs> Stupid. <laughs> that's what you sound like. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you sound like. Oh, dang it. Uh, oh man. Uh, I mean, fr frankly, I think leaving is probably the best option <laughs> for, for Southpaw. I would have stuck. I would have stuck around and just fucking 
I don't know, stuck around like a bull in a ball pit. So it gets even weirder from here, Fungus. How is that possible? You'll see. Okay, this so, is some so of the weirdest shit I've ever seen. There's gonna be a cut here. About 20 minutes go by. They don't really talk about anything that happened that we just People watched. actually watch this crap? I know, right? Hey, come on now. People are watching us, so... Yeah, yeah and it's way more entertaining than unironically oh, watching what definitely. they're producing here. What, watching an autistic meltdown. Watching, like, rational humans watch this autistic rage unfold is probably more entertaining than just unironically listening to the conversation they're having. Alright, so 20 I, minutes I go by. I didn't get that impression, but... It's gonna Jesus be a cut. fucking okay, that's, Christ, that's dude. not what I got. <clears throat> but yeah, okay, Yesh is saying, bring up the scene again. Why is he saying that? He's clearly that's got tons cup. of shit on his plate. Do you not understand that? That's how it comes back. Revolves around uh, back. Your back. Well, gets uh, the explanation that he tried rehearsing. Regarding <sighs> smugness, uh, I'm not no trying to sound smug. Okay, so Safo makes a mistake right here. He should just, everybody should just ignore whatever argument they had before. It's not worth bringing up again. Yeah, uh, I mean, South was also on the defensive. Yeah, he shouldn't go on the. He defensive. should have just he left and stayed gone. I mean, he should have. He should have started attacking SK. Started bringing up uh, his personal life, <laughs> um, making making fun of anything that he can, uh, things that he can't change, things that he's insecure about. He should bring up that he's half black. All right, uh, okay, can we Sorry, let's SK. have a room? Let's, let's just like right now. relax a bit. Before, well, hold up, nobody talk except SK and Southpaw. Everyone else go mute right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. You still okay. did it. It doesn't okay. matter if you weren't. Okay. How is this? How is everybody else go on mute so Southpaw and SK can argue? Ju just argue. How is that the best response? Because somebody clearly had, I, I don't know who it was, but somebody had the best response of, hey, look, let's just le let it go and move on. Yeah. I mean, it could have just been over. I mean, I don't know why Southpaw would rejoin to be like, uh, and as for the part about smugness. Yeah, this is what I mean. Like, this is just constant escalation. Like, just fucking stay gone, guy. Like, what are you doing? Like, this is, this guy's clearly, like, unhinged right and, now. And also, remember, this is all being live streamed. This yeah. is not private. Is this video in particular still, like, up? Oh, yeah. It is. How do you leave this up? I don't know. I wasn't okay. I'm sorry that that that, that that's how it came across. That's clearly my mistake. I don't there, apologize, right? Southpaw. But like, I'm I'm not trying to like be smug. I apologize and, to this fucking. All asshole. right. It's like I don't understand. Okay, so I'm wondering why is Southpaw intimidated by SK? Seriously. Um. This is does SK he, is acting because 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 he's insecure and as he said before. When he's confronted with like aggressive personalities, he just like rolls over. Yeah, he, he, he should... doesn't have many friends left too. So yeah, he's well, yeah, trying to... yeah, exactly. What he should be saying is, "I wasn't smug. You're reading too much into this. Fuck you for speaking to me." And just laugh. And to be fair to SK, I mean, Southpaw literally has an air of smugness, no matter. But I just think that's the way he speaks. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. If I was, if I was SK. Or if I knew South Southport as well as SK does, I kind of just write off his flag. Exactly. Well, yeah, that yeah. Like we don't, we're not even friends with the guy, and we know that that's just how he speaks. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. how isn't he aware of that? Because he's it's because easily because he's, irked. It's because he's not used to being on the receiving. He he does he doesn't like like oh you think you're better than me. Yeah, everyone's an ally until they disagree with you, then it's fucking mask off. What? <laughs> like, like, where, um... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what exactly... This is think, so awkward. Like, is the precise issue? That like, you just, just in, like, uh -huh. you decided to not make arguments. You just went, oh, it's cope. It's cope. It's like okay, no, I was, we, I was trying to make arguments. <laughs> though. I'm, I'm not. I, just oh. the the difference between like French, friendship groups. You just came in and you just started saying that it was co cope, and that's what's caused this argument. I mean, I can't I can't imagine us like disagreeing over something and then we're just like, well, you're coping right now. You you you're coping. You see, they got that. Just the other, just just reacting like a blithering retard. It doesn't matter and again, why like, you post that meme. You still did it. 
I'll and like again, I, I think I already said it, but like I'll give Southpaw the credit. Like he, jo- I'm sure in his mind it was innocent what he was doing when he joined, and he was like, "This is some cope or whatever." Like they, they, they sounded like they were jokey. Like yeah. it was like, okay, but now for real, let's dispute this. Like I feel like but, that's kind of the attitude he came in with. You know, I don't. I, yeah, because I don't think if Southpaw joined, him joining with like this autistic energy that SK has when he approaches arguments, it would have just evolved into an argument even faster. Yeah. Because South was like laughing. He's like trying to be trying to trying to not make this a serious argument. And then SK, who has the emotional stability of a of a live hand grenade, uh just <laughs> just responds in his usual manner. He just, just in. like z- uh-huh. You decided to not make arguments. You just went, oh, it's cope. It's cope. It's like, okay. No, I was, we were I was trying to make arguments, I'm, though. I'm, I'm not done. Okay. He's not done. So okay. I was listening, and then I let you in for that reason to talk about mm-hmm. it. I'm like, all right, mm-hmm. all right, let's talk about the references. And then oftentimes, mm-hmm. you just be like, <laughs> these defenses you were making, like all smug laughing about it. And then <laughs> when I try to make up points, he was like, oh, this is it, was, so it was 20 feet away where he was blasted. Like completely just, what a fucking horrid environment to talk about this stuff. You know, oh. the, o- the only reason that SK is taking this so seriously is because it's being recorded. He feels like he's being like undermined or something. He has to put up an era of professionality. This is how this, he views this com- himself as being professional. This comes across as very um, theatrical. Oh yeah, just constantly acting smug about it. Can't even make points. You gotta just repeat the same thing over and fucking over again. Kind of true. So upset. It's well, hilarious. To be fair, it's kind of true. It is kind of true. And like not even making a point. I mean, you're just throwing it in there. Like, oh, how could you actually fucking make this defense? Wow, how ridiculous. How stupid. That's how it comes across. You slighted me. You have slighted me I mean, for the last time. It's just, they seem like pretty... Oh, I don't know, man. These defenses just, they weren't really making Then sense. argue against them. What is wrong we with were, what I said? We we were trying oh, to damn. outline that. Okay, let's say they do find out, as you claim, they, 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 they absolutely should have, all right? What evidence are they going to have? How is that going to change the narrative that we see? I mean, if I was if I was one of the other people in this call, I would not let this happen. If like you two were arguing like this, there's no way I'd like let it continue. Well, they're letting this it looks... happen because everybody else is muted. So, no, I know that, but the, the, obviously they they chose to be muted. Yeah, they I would have themselves. chimed in and been like, "Guys, this is fucking yeah. retarded. Like, yeah, what just, the fuck just, is what are we on. doing?" Yeah, Aren't we so, live right now is what I would have chimed in with. Yeah, I'd have just been like, look, this is not the time or the place to make this argument, so let's just Let's agree, agree to, to disagree and just let's move on. Let's agree to, you know, address this. Hey, you can uh, address this between the pair of you later. Can't this broadcast be used against us at a later date? <laughs> yeah, right. I, don't know. I stand I don't by know. everything Southpaw has said. We criticize this in The Amazing Spider-Man. I said I, the issue was that he took the to- risk. I don't fucking care that no one figures it out. I even said in the watch party that is recorded, yeah, well, if people just I like, okay, maybe they'll just figure that a guy could actually break the backboard like that. I said something to that extent. I don't well, actually that, care if they don't figure I it was, out. I was talking about the ba- the uh, the goalpost. Okay, um, with the goalpost. So now they're talking yeah, about I'm Amazing like Spider-Man 2. Oh, uh, sorry, they're talking about Amazing Spider-Man. The risk. Yes, it's hard to follow. Okay. Uh, then you and I have very different under, like, I mean, we, we criticize different things about these movies then, uh, because I think that it's an issue there. And I think it's an issue in Spider-Man one as well. And okay, I like but, Spider-Man but one. Like why? Because I think that it's basic common sense that a, a regular teenager, especially one, um, of Peter's stature is, uh, is not going to be capable of such physical feats. Why? That seems like 
Where do you get your Why? information on what feats are possible for humans that are boxers or gymnasts? Where do you get that My information? God. What? They're high school kids. Uh, so SK's argument is basically a, an argument of source, an argument from authority. Where because there's no like, you need to have evidence. You need to have like a peer-reviewed study to say that a high school student with zero experience in basketball can't dunk a basketball and break the back it's beyond well it's the reason why he's asking for a source is because him asking for a source makes his argument easier yeah you can't there's nothing to say it's like how could you so, argue that he a gymnast or a boxer couldn't do this it's like well, a gymnast or a boxer could do this peter parker is neither of those things He's notoriously that's, neither of those. Things. Yeah, that's those. Those are the arguments that people are making. He's secretly. That, that's that's the argument. That that's the argument ultimately that, that Southpaw is making. Is that it's not that it's impossible for a human being to do, except you know, p- punching somebody twenty feet. That's impossible to do, regardless uh, of your training. <laughs> yeah, regardless of your training, because the amount of strength required to punch somebody twenty feet across the floor, you would just punch through their heart. It's it's why this argument is so stupid because it, it's fucking Spider Man. Like, yeah. let's just why are we even having the argument? Yeah, there, there are uh, like okay, let, let, let's do, look. Spy, like what? Uh, Amazing Spider Man two. Uh, Amazing Spider Man one. There are worse things wrong with Amazing Spider Man one than Peter Parker like breaking the pedal. Yeah. Well, like seriously. <laughs> there, there are more things wrong with that movie. Um, you could you, like, yeah, you can make the argument that it. You can make the argument that it's. You know, it's stupid, a stupid thing to do, but to say that it's perfectly possible to do those things, maybe if, you know, if it wasn't Peter Parker doing them, maybe, but it is Peter Parker doing them. That's why it's so impossible. You know, something I appreciate, Prize, the guy on the far left changed his profile picture to the funny Aaron Paul, my parents are arguing meme. Hmm. That Make me laugh. R slash movie details. It should. <laughs> It's just kind of basic common sense in terms of doing a triple backflip Where do you like get that, that without, like, while just standing. Where do you get common uh, sense? Like, what experience? is the source of your common what? sense? Experience with gymnasts, Can boxers, what? Trying to do a triple backflip oneself, which maybe? is going so you're circles. That, so, without okay, hold up. MJ and Harry have never tried this, and they don't care to. Where? So, where would that have been? Where would that line up? Did they try to do a triple backflip? Did they try that? Sorry, what? Did MJ or Harry try to do the triple backflip? Because you said, oh, yeah, if you ever try to do that, you can't. They also haven't tried to do a regular flip. <laughs> what? So what this is fuck? So this is why uh, trying to argue with people like SK is impossible. Because you can't, because he's making the argument that you... That nobody can find anything strange unless they have proof that it's impossible to do, or they've attempted to do it themselves and found it difficult. Like, I, if I saw somebody jump off the roof of a building and fly to the to, to the other side of the street, and I said, "Well, that's impossible for a human being to do," SK's argument will be, "Well, have you tried doing it? Where do you get that information? Where do you get that information? Ah! Where's where's the source? Where is the peer peer reviewed study that says that human beings can't fly for, fly across the street?" And Southwell's making a I don't know like the normal argument of, "Well, it's just just the fact that I've lived a life. Yeah, I know, I've I know maybe how tried. Much a, I know how much a person weighs. I know how." How, I, like I've punched people. I've been punched. You know, I've pushed someone before. And even I though, generally speaking, know how much it, how much energy it takes to move a human being. And even though SK is next up in the argument, Southport just keeps repeating it. And that's why we're going in circles. So, and then SK is like, "Well, you can't." Like, oh, has has Harry or MJ attempted to do a backflip themselves? It's like, yeah, I don't. I can't do a backflip. But I know that if somebody who just did like the same triple backflip that Peter made, I'd have, I'd think, well, that's pretty strange. That's pretty strange for any human being to do, I because just... if because it actually like the movie has to edit around the triple backflip, because you can't stay in the a human being can't stay in the air that long from just like 
jumping themselves. Unless, of course, they had super spider powers. Exactly. Unless they had some sort of strange ability to remain in the air for longer. Like, they could jump higher than the average. Like, un- they can jump higher than what, than what should be, like, humanly capable. That's, what, that's, that's honestly why you shouldn't try and argue with people like SK. Ignore them. Yeah, literally ignore them or make fun of them. That's that's actually bad to make fun of them. So I asked you, why wouldn't that be, from their perspective, why would it be common sense that he can't do that? And you said life experience, uh, the idea of them ever trying to do it. But what because also that is- that just a, isn't a thing that's possible for humans to do. Just because, so what? What? why is it impossible? How would they know that? And don't Jeez. just say it's common sense. I mean, it is common sense. If I'm not allowed to say it's common sense and then I'm being questioned on something that just, it seems like just basic common sense, I don't know where what to would tell they you. Get, where would they get this information that gymnasts can't do that? Where would they get that information? Oh my god. Yeah, uh, you, you know, this is definitely uh, not a toxic environment for discussion. Yeah, S- SK, SK is incapable of have of basically having his own opinion he has to he has to have his opinion formulated and delivered for him he can't observe something and infer his own thoughts i can't believe cannot, how autistic this is it's like way worse than i could have imagined yeah he can't he, he just can't see something and think okay here's my opinion on it he has to be told what he has to be told through either like a study or it's like an expert authority he has, and he has to be told like that. He can't just decide, okay, in my own opinion, this is unlikely or likely or something that I could I could do or should do. It, it's it's crazy to just to see this in real life when Seth was saying like, yeah, a high schooler with no gymnastic training doing a triple black backflip is unrealistic. He's like, oh, uh, uh, based on what evidence? It's self evident. Not- Miles Morales does triple black flips, Fungus. Triple black flips? He said S- black flip by accident. Oh, oh back flip. Uh, S- SK does one and a half triple black flips. What would you rather do, a back flip or a black flip? Well, uh, I want the rather... exaggerated swagger of a black teen, so... Fair enough. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I feel like if I did a, a black flip, I, I'd have a worse credit score than I In China. <laughs> I just mean like a normal credit score. If the hair be nappy, the credit be crappy. Small. Sean Strick. Sean Strickland said that, and he's an American hero. <laughs> All right, I'm not doing this. I'm so we're not doing... making. Okay, we're not making. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. Really holding up this hot take right here. Okay. So... SK, SK's SK is so he's so funny because. He's like, wow, okay, we're not making arguments. But you're refusing his arguments. You're not, you, you, you're not, like, ask, like, He's not giving is, Southpaw an inch in the argument. Yeah, it, like, he's, he's, he's so bad faith. He's saying, like, Southpaw's argument is, well, it's common sense. It's just commonly evident that human, that normal human beings can't do Normal this. human beings can't and do then, this impossible maneuver, let alone teenagers, let alone yeah. a nerdy, uncoordinated, skinny teenager who's, like, yeah. known for being uncoordinated and nerdy. Yeah. Like, and SK's and um, like SK is saying like no, I'm not accepting that answer. <laughs> it's like it's like that's why these people are like people like him are impossible to argue with. They just will not. They they just never engage in good faith. SK, if you're wondering why Mueller and the EFAP crew won't have an actual debate with you, it's this because of this. You fucking yeah. moron. And you posted this. You've just like no. Uh, what's your argument? Southwells gives like. His, like, it's common sense. Like, I sympathize it, with Southpaw because what else can you say to yeah. that? Like, there's really nothing else to say. What's your source? I, I don't know. I was a teenager at one point. I don't fucking know. Real life? Have you tried it? <laughs> I tried to do a flip on the playground and almost broke my neck. It's very hard to jump high enough in the air to do one backflip, let, let alone a double And backflip. land it, let alone <laughs> fucking, like triple backflip and he like he's saying like um oh. sk is making the like saying how like oh punching somebody 20 feet is impossible since when i mean not to give south not not to be not to like give south too much credit here but uh, i i'm i am aware of the fact that south has done like Krav maga which is a stupid made-up martial art but he oh. still punched somebody 
So he is aware, I would think, of how much energy it would take to move somebody with a punch. You'd be better off shoving somebody as hard as humanly possible. Yeah. I, I'm I'm confident that Southpaw has punched at least one person in like a trait like a sparring session. So he knows, generally speaking, how hard you need to punch somebody to throw them twenty feet. <laughs> Alright, so um, we, we might have been defending did you actually already take a pee break? Yeah. Yeah, wow, like, that was like me, me, quick. My yeah, bathroom me, is right outside my door. Like literally I open my door right in front of me in the bathroom. Fair enough. Me mean PP is quickie. I quick quick okay. PP. Please. Cut that out. I cut that. Keep it in. I don't want people to know how quick I pee. Keep it in and then keep cut it in. <laughs> keep it in. And then cut it. Keep it in, then cut it, and then cut no, out the part where uh, I say I wash my it, hands. It, uh, skip it, then flip it. No, skip keep it, keep in the part of us talking about how quick, fast mean pees without the context of knowing. Cut that out the part where I defend myself right. on how. No, I cut out the part. So cut out the part where where we actually started. <laughs> Rewind me talking about peeing, but slow it down, and then put my voice in reverse it's, so it sounds like demonic language. It's rewind time. Just to give context to the next bit. Oh, SK, after this Fumcast stream, made a video specifically about oh. this scene in Spider-Man 1. Oh. He's essentially repeating the arguments that he made throughout the stream, but in a oh, more he's so in a, is it like in direct petty. response to Southpaw or like yeah, but it doesn't really reference Southpaw at all. It's okay. more so just arguments about the scene that they were talking about during the stream. So it's not really an attack on Southpaw or Sheev, right? Okay, but Southpaw took it as an attack. <laughs> okay, uh -oh. so this is where um, oh this is where Southpaw becomes irredeemable. There is a 56-minute call between Southpaw and SK. This was their last <gasps> interaction. Wait. <gasps> For real? Yeah. And we have this? No, we don't have this. SK, oh. won't, SK won't leak it. SK will only leak parts of it. Okay. And these parts that he's leaked, that's what's coming up in this compilation. It's interesting that he hasn't leaked it because SK loves to leak things. Fungus, this is so fucking autistic. Oh. And this was explained in... Put it up on screen. The document, the Google document that SK. Oh, made. there it is. It's on screen right yeah, now. It's on screen. I, I, I'm, I'm reading it. Whoa! Look, it's going. Wow! Look around. at this fucking editing. This looks. Wow! Cool. Look at the. Wow! Look at the font. Wow! Did you zoom in on that word right there? Yeah, that one. Wow! Good the technology is incredible. Uh, I can't. Anyway. I can't believe that they included um a, the Joe Rogan filter on this particular uh, <laughs> document. And nothing right, else. Right. And nothing else in the video. It's copyright filter. Future fries is sitting there right now. Like these fucking pieces of shit are giving me more work to do on this I, piece I, of shit autistic I, video. I'm sitting there. I'm, I've grown a five o'clock shadow. Maybe what I was talking about. Sorry, I'm a little drunk. So, so like, okay. So the <laughs> reason why he won't leak it is because it. it the, he, the reason why he won't. Re, re, the reason why he won't. It's because Leak it involves a spy, and it involves other it's because... details. I don't assume he's being entirely honest about the... I suspect it might just be the fact that Southall could leak yeah. in, in response. He could, he could leak things which are damaging. I, I imagine that Southall recorded it too, so he could probably leak it at any time. Because why yeah. wouldn't he? That's what Southall does. Southall, leak it. For me. Okay. For, you, for your old pal, Erotic Fungus. So remember, SK made this video. Southpaw saw it as a direct attack on him. And this is what he did in response. There's a black frame. Oh, she that's said he, he sent the video to Rags? Was that true? Yes, he did. He did. So you guys well, see uh, EFAP. Hold up, she... I'm, I'm in the middle of a statement. You guys oh. see EFAP ah. as these people that constantly harass people, berate people. I mean, there's examples of Rags telling people to end their lives, and you oh, sent no. it to Rags to try to dunk on me? You sent it to Rags. She yeah, but you, Rags. you guys were okay with that and didn't try to stop it. I mean, as just coverage of a video, uh, 
I mean, you've seen how the EFAT like, people act. You say that they're very abusive and whatnot. Like, so, Chief sent the video to Rags to try to get me ridiculed, and you guys were okay yes. with that. When he's known to tell people yes. to take their lives. Oh, oh, what a pussy. Yes, we were. <laughs> Why did you do that? And this was before yes, the whole we Jeb thing. Kind of based. Yeah, that's what I just outlined with you, SK. What, what did you outline? Did you hear that? So after everything that Safo has said about Ife for the past two years, after everything he said about Mauler, calling him an all-around awful person, yeah, mm -hmm. calling him shitty people, made, j he just made a six-and-a-half-hour video absolutely tearing into Ife, and yet he's still fine with sending the video to... To them, so they can cover. That's it. why I was confused because kind of hilarious. It doesn't make sense. I mean, it I kind of make I sense because Ife, uh, I kind of like it. It doesn't even make sense because South Pole knows Jack Saint and Brown Table, so why doesn't he just send the video to them? Because they're not gonna. They're just gonna be like, all right, who cares about fucking Spider Man? Yeah, but Ife is not gonna cover SK's video. No, but South Pole hopes they will. Yeah, but then he's stupid. Well, yeah, but I, I mean, I kind of find it hilarious that. He, he would try and do that just to just to make SK come across as a gigantic reader. Yeah, but, but after everything he's said, he's trying to skim elbows with EFAP? Well, I don't That's think he's incredible. trying to I don't think he's trying to like get back with EFAP. I think he's just using them to he, he's he's just trying he's just trying to use them to uh dunk on SK. He's trying like, to he, get he, their attention. No, he's not. I don't think he's trying to get their attention. I think he's I think he's just Trying to um, use them effectively as like as like a weapon against SK, because he knows that they have a wider audience reach. They have maybe some more legitimacy as far as he's concerned in like the um, criticism, like the like the YouTube um, criticism field, for lack of a better word. Yeah. So he he's like, well, if they criticize SK, that would that will reach more people, it'll have more legitimacy, legitimacy, and it'll have a larger impact against SK. So I don't think he's being necessarily hypocritical. Maybe he is. Um, but I, he's, I think he is. But he, he's doing it in a... He's not... I don't think he's trying to get back on EFAP's good side. I think he's, I think he's just using EFAP as a... as just like an... Uh, as, a, as a way to screw over SK. Which, frankly... I find I find hilarious, and I actually I actually always admire it. I, I just can't believe that he's even trying to use him in the first place. It is pretty ass backwards. I agree, Fries, for him to be going to EFAP after all that shit that he said. Well, he used he used Sheev as like a proxy, a go between. Well, so he, he just presumably, said, it, it, it just fungus. makes him look more spineless than he even is. Yeah, exactly. And fungus, he said we were okay with it, so. He didn't say she yeah, was yeah. okay with it. Yeah, but I mean, True. he like he he like uh, he had Sheev actually go to Rags directly. Presumably, Sheev has some better relationship with Rags, which is weird because Sheev doesn't like Ethan. After all the shit fine. he said, yeah. it's like it goes against it, all of his points. Yeah, well, I think I think it, I think it kind of does make sense if you, um, if you just understand that Southport doesn't really have much in the way of principles and and he's very vindictive i don't like this and i don't like this agreement i'm gonna leave <laughs> I'm, well, I'm just right i'm now. just gonna i'm just gonna send i'm, I'm just gonna send all of our i'm gonna send all of our DM, dms to south i mean okay um, if i guess i i get your point i just don't think he views it in that way well you don't think Southport views it in that way I don't think he's using EFAP in the way that you described. Oh right. Well, so, so you think he's trying to get back with EF, uh, back in with EFAP? I think he's trying to get their attention. That's I think that you're right because why, why else? else would he do it? Yeah. Other than to just be like spiteful. I I think Southpaw would get back with EFAP if he had the chance, but he can't do it in like. <clears throat> He can't just like do it in like an obvious way. He has to like kind of like worm his way back in. Way back like a snake. Yeah. He affect like it, it's like it's like you can't just go back to the tribe you've been kicked out from. You have to go back with like a trophy. 
But as we know, like EFAP, they ain't fucking. They, 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 they are beyond caring. They haven't they, I think, for yeah. years. It's the one I, thing that they've definitely done right with this situation is just like yeah. straight up ignore the guy. It is likely that it is the way that you're suggesting it, where Southwell's trying to get in because he doesn't. He's not really prince. He's not principled. Yeah. So definitely. I think it's. I think it could be either one, really. That he's just using EFAP as a way to hurt South, uh, hurt SK because EFAP has like a larger audience, a bigger reach, and it will do more damage effectively to SK's reputation. But I, I also, I also can see it from the other way where he's trying to worm his. What did Sheev send directly to Rags? Which video specifically? Is it this one you uh, linked? Oh yeah, that one. I linked it already in the book. So he sent that to Rags as a sheave sent that to rags as a way to be like hey look, co- cover this on efap embarrass sk look how silly he lo- yeah <laughs> oh wow as if that would even fucking work well obviously it wouldn't work why would they even co- <laughs> okay why would they even cover an sk video after you made the drama bit this is so strange so wait the timeline here i just i gotta ask one more question i'm sorry we're yeah. jumping around all over the place with this i'm just trying to get this straight in my head so this is after all the shit with Terriers and everything. Yeah. Yeah, so he, ev- everything everything that we've covered meme is pr- has been like pretty much chronologically consi- um, yes. like along the Yeah. Way. So he actually he basically tried to reach out to EFAP. Yes. After all this yeah, shit. Yeah, that's what that I mean. Said. It's fucking unbelievable. It's just so I I can believe it because it's him, but it is unbelievable. And, and this, like it's just crazy. And meme this is why Southpaw has lost all public support. He's he, he, if he, he no had any left. credibility, like he would have lost it yeah, right all there. All of his cause... former fans don't want anything to do with him because of this. Which is so, super... so a lot of people, not a lot of people, but the people who seem to give a shit about this situation yeah. know about this specific oh, yeah. thing. The vast majority of them do. Wow, I didn't know anything about this. I'm glad I yeah I kept it. Glad you kept us out of the loop on that. It was a good reveal. That's ridiculous. How does he think he has any shred of credibility after this? It that's just wow. (laughs) I honestly think I honestly think we should try and approach him and get his side of the story. (laughs) What? No, because you'd be because you'd be interesting. Just to like, what what were you thinking when you did this, Fungus? Do you think? In a million years, in a trillion years, that he would ever talk to me? Maybe he no like way. hates Fry. I mean, he tr- he tr- he tried talking to Efab. No fucking way. Yeah, but he idolizes them, yeah, yeah, regardless of what he says. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. He still lo- like he, still he views Fry's as like a f- fucking jihadist or some I- shit. I'm like, basically <laughs> a devil. We thought your video was very disingenuous. So, and, and, and here's the thing, right? So we have this. We have these apologies, then you make this video. We read the video as disingenuous towards us. This seems like it's full of, of petty snipes at us. It, it's like... But I didn't snipe... I didn't even think of even referencing both of you when I wrote it. And you have said previously that you believe him on that. You, yeah. you don't think he made this I, in direct response. I've seen response. the video, and he doesn't reference... South I think S- ones, S- so. I think SK is vindictive enough that if he was actually using this as like a way to dunk on Southwell, he would use some of Southwell's arguments. Oh, he could have easily done that. Um, like even even if he didn't say that these are Southwell's arguments, like these are some of the stupid arguments I've heard. Right. Yeah, this is because the next is, clip was to send it to Rags, and like for what's the end goal with that? <clears throat> For them to cover your video and respond to it. Yeah, I don't think that, that she wanted them to tell you to kill yourself or do anything like that. <laughs> Even though he knows they've done it before. So EFAP is, according to SK, that, evil. That means he, he thinks that they're going to do it with you. And he knows this because... Fuck it. Oh my God, say with something. The source, South SK World. with the source argument. I mean, they've yeah. done it before. Even if I was disingenuous, would I deserve to be told to go die? Oh my God. Which Rags yes. has no, done to people? Yes. That's, yes, that's you do, SK. What, 
that's not going to be the default assumption that, that that's going to be made of them covering someone. But they've because done it before they, when they've covered people. They have, they have, but not how frequently have they have they done that when they cover people? I, dude, I can't believe he's run into fence for EFAP. Like those. This is like so crazy. It's why it's so confusing to me because it's you have all this shit between him and EFAP, and then you have this on the tail end. Well, like I, I don't think he's necessarily running defense for EFAP. He's running defense for, for himself. Because, because um, SK is asking, why would you do this knowing what you do about how evil EFAP is? He's, uh, SK is like purity testing um, uh, Southpaw in this, in, in this, because he's like, why would you willingly associate with people who are evil? Is 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 effectively SK's argument here, and Southpaw is making a fairly reasonable argument that they don't like. Rex doesn't necessarily tell everybody that they covered to kill themselves. Yeah, they're both. I think they're both being a little dishonest here because obviously yeah, they they're not. They're not just gonna tell him to kill himself and send hate raids. It's not something EFAP does, but also. Yeah. Why would Southpaw do this in the first place? It, it was just to dunk on SK, right? Yeah, and I like I suspect potentially it. I suspect get into it. good graces with EFAP. Maybe I, I think I, I that think part the, maybe, but I think the simplest answer is probably the most likely to be true because if Southpaw did try and get was trying to get back into EFAP's grace, good graces, we'd see a lot more public attempts at that because Southpaw is somebody who's basically incapable of leading a private life. At the end of the day, it, it completely ruins any credibility Southpaw has because yeah, for him a, to say it, all this stuff and then at the end of the day be like, let's send this to EFAP so they cover yeah. it. Like, what? Yeah. How does that track at all? I, th I, think, I think it honestly is more likely the fact that he's just, he just wants EFAP to cover SK as just like this delicious, as this like delicious irony part, I suppose. Um, I think he just wants to hear people's opinions who he respects tear into a guy who he disagrees yeah, with that, about a certain that could, thing. That, that, could, that could be a good... Uh, that, could, that, could be a, that, could, that could be it as well. The end Despite my friend how he... Is my friend. To be fair to SK, Southpaw had one unpleasant experience with SK. He thought that SK made one video that Southpaw thought was bad faith. Mm -hmm. And that's enough for Southpaw to completely and utterly turn against SK. Yeah, which is yeah, crazy. That is pretty funny. And go against everything he said about Efa. Yeah. Even though SK he... is supposed to be your friend, and also supposedly, yeah, supposedly. And also, here's the funny thing: SK was going to donate one thousand dollars to Southpaw's GoFundMe for medical uh, bills. Shot himself in the foot there, didn't he? Well, shouldn't that be enough to uh, earn his trust? You're going to donate a lot of money for him. Mm. I'm just saying. They're so the the two of them are so deep into this purity cycle, where you can't. It's not even like you can't disagree with me. Is that you need to think that the exact same way as me? And there's a lot of like they're reading into each other's intentions and actions all the time. And I think a lot of, like with, um, with Southpaw's, Southpaw thinking that SK, the video that SK made was like a deliberate, um, was like a, del a, like a deliberate jab at Southpaw. It's because, it's because he, he knows SK and he knows how, like how vindictive he can be and how like there's almost no loyalty between them. I almost don't blame Southpaw for thinking like that because if, if you like, if you did did hang around with SK long enough, like he he basically cannot be trusted for anything. He'll he'll leak anything and everything just just to advance himself. So yeah. I I, I, don't, I wouldn't necessarily put it past him to do some to to upload a video which is like a indirect jab at Southpaw, and then Southpaw to take the most extreme action possible. I'm just kind of letting all of this information. Even though I've seen this before, I'm just letting all of this information process through my mind. Because yeah, it's, it's that just really so, changes a lot. It's just so crazy. All of yeah. this. It really is. The, I think this whole good. side of the internet is so fucking insane. Fascinating. It's fascinating to me.
That, that's why I can't get enough of Sapphire. I mean, you can look through it if you want to, you too, but the, it's mostly worthless, except for this one part. That, that's just fucking... Oh god, it's... It's chef's kills. Sapphire did call EFAB rape apologists behind closed doors. Dun 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 dun. Oh my so, god. But so this whole semantic game you were playing for two years, this fungus, this thing that we two directly called out. I'm just saying, uh, we, we directly called this out a year ago. And now SK what? is saying, oh yeah, Sapo did call the rape apologists behind closed doors. This has been one of Southpaw's most oft-repeated points, and he's mentioned this in almost every stream he's been a part of. I didn't call them rape apologists. I call I said they were victim blaming rape victims. And now it turns out, oh yeah, I was that was my true intention. What's the difference between a rape apologist and a victim? That that's what we talked about last time, Fungus. It's kind of a one sounds worse than the other. Yeah, that that's really the only difference. Yeah, it's, it's just it's a distinction without a difference. I, I find it I find it stri- I find it strange that um Southpaw is just like oh, I didn't call them a rape apologist, I called them a victim. It's the same thing you do. So Southpaw lied about this for two straight years. Which is f- hilarious. This is um so I've said this previously. It's not one instance of lying or a couple of instances. It's one lie that he's built up in his head over years and years. And it's completely pointless. He could have just said, oh yeah, I think these guys are rape apologists. It wouldn't really have changed much about this drama. Yeah. So we're kind of reaching Steve Renesisi levels of line where it's pointless. It's, it's only to further your public image. The hell Steve Renesisi The right. 9-11 The guy who liar. lied about being a 9-11 for no reason. Oh, right. He literally recounted events that just Didn't never happened happen. about him being in the tower and then like seeing the second plane hit and all this other shit. Oh yeah. my god! Okay, it's not to that extent, but we're we're getting there with Sapo. No, well, it's, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, he, it's he's lied exactly. this whole time. Yeah, he lied for two but, straight but, years. It's funny that he he lied about it because a rape apologist and a victim blamer are basically the same. Um, well, he w- who would argue against that? He he would, but it's he's also he's so he's saying I, I never I never said that, but calling them that in private. He he's only saying I'd never call them that because he was confident that nobody would ever find out. And that's why he admitted that he said it to Wolf immediately because he did say oh, it. Oh man. Yeah. What a fucking lying piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. There was one other part. Oh hell yeah! There's more. Uh, from this, I'm this, just trying to. This find is never it. ending. No, this, is the, this is the final part. We no, are I, I'm not complaining. I, it it blows my mind that there could be any anything more after he he has lied for two years about this fucking comment. Also, here's this. Uh, <laughs> also, bombshell after bombshell. It, it doesn't stop. Well, it seems like and here not- I thought we were gonna end this video with like. Kind, like low key defending <laughs> Southpaw from that one conversation. Do, do you think I would have arranged this if that was going to happen? Absolutely not. I had faith. I just it it's man. Oh, oh, okay. Here it Fries is. Fries is out Here for, it is. is uh oh. Okay. Bombshell time. Uh, he sounds he sounds so excited to tell He's us excited. this. It has to be big. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about no, to get another just, bombshell. This is really funny. That's all. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen like funny. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to release some classified documents here. I want these people to oh, hurt. <laughs> Especially after today, I want to twist a fucking knife. Southpaw wanted SK to join him in doing some weird ass like and then bullshit it against looks, Econ. Yeah. It looks like he's just doing like some weird gay ops with yeah. um, SK. So the reason we're not covering the entire document, one, it's 16 pages. Two, there's a lot of hearsay, so it's mostly worthless. Three, the drama gets very muddled at this point. It also involves a lot of other people, so I'm not really... None of us are really interested in covering that portion. We like the hard evidence. And we only want stuff focused on Sapo. That was the entire compilation. That's it. We got through it. We got through it.
But Man. Would, you, would you believe that Safa is not done talking about this? He still ain't done. Yeah, he's still he's still not done. So you still saw going this guy. You saw it during the cold open. Uh, he he's still talking about it. He he won't stop, guys. He will never let this go. We can make a video about a year from now. Probably still be talking about it. The information in this video will be relevant like two years yeah. from now. Well, Safa has all but nuked his reputation. I mean, I feel like the yeah. only way he can come back from this is just to delete that Law and Border video he did. Or at least unlist it. Just make clear that he doesn't stand by it anymore. He should just make Move a video on. and say, I was irrational about the show that I love. Yeah. Which is what Mahler was basically saying in a very nice way to him. I honestly don't think he can co he can come back and say that because it's just he he's just been fighting. Well, he can't. You're right. He can't. It, it would be it's just absurd long. for him to do that. But I don't really see what else he could do other than admit, like I was just being irrational. I I apologize. You don't have to forgive me, but <laughs> that is what it is. Instead, he what is he gonna? quadruple down like years in the future about something that happened long ago and it hasn't been brought up by EFAP at all like no. it's just pathetic to even continue this this delusion this type of drama would have been forgotten a week after it happened if uh -huh. Southwell didn't constantly bring it up yeah because it's just he too convoluted to keep track of but if, if Southwell didn't bring, keep bringing it up then Southpaw also would have been forgotten. Yeah. And Southpaw can't have that. No. I just want to be left alone. Yeah. Sure you do. Sure you do. Makes six and a half hour video on EFAP. Southpaw knocking Constantly on, bringing knocking it Knocking on my front door, telling me how much he wants wants to be left alone. Yeah. I don't want us to be left alone. Look, just just leave me alone, guys. So. I just want to I just I just want to do my own thing. Okay. And the next day he just knocks on your front door then, again. Hey, yeah. look, listen, just leave me alone. Then do your own thing. You haven't done anything. The only thing you've done this past year is talk about EFAP. That's what I was yeah. gonna say. Like, if he wants to move on, just make some like videos and just move on. Yeah, you yeah. know, like, hey guys, guess what? Guess what? His next video is gonna be on. Dear God, Spider Man. Yeah. So <laughs> the, uh, the next video is him covering the entire Raimi trilogy in one video. Oh my. As if that is not repetitive as fuck, because he's already <laughs> done Spider Man too. And yeah, it looks desperate because it's like, I've already covered Spider-Man and that's my flagship video that EFAP had to fucking advertise for me. So yeah, I'm just going to do more Spider-Man. He's just trying to capitalize. Hey guys, did you one. know, did you know that the Spider-Man movies are not uh, realistic? <laughs> I thought SK like didn't defend the Raimi Spider-Man movies, by the way. He, yeah. He's changed his mind since then, meme. So, so at the end, I mean, of that, the, that, you're allowed to do that, of course. I'm, yeah. I was just a little I confused because that's he, all I remembered about. I the think guy. he did that because when he, because the whole Wayne Manor artists, they were very much sort of like Southpaw's gay little army, and now, and now SK is sort of, sort of become it. Be, he's become like the dominant partner in the Southpaw SK relationship. That doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> well, yeah, but but when it did exist, he was the dominant partner. Yeah, just I mean, just, was... just you you can see that just from Southall, like a like di just pathetically apologizing for offending SK in that yeah. uh, live just, stream. That was difficult. Yeah. That was difficult to watch. It's like a maybe thirty year old apologizing to like a a teenager. Completely and utterly spineless. At the end of film, he has fifty sixty four. SK concludes, you know what? Southpaw video is bad. It's like a 4 out of 10. Spider-Man 2, oh. it's around a 7 out of 10. Which is just fucking oh. incredible. So that's, that's just fucking brilliant. Where SK, <laughs> after two years of Defending being, attached, being attached to Southpaw's hip and almost escalating every single part of this entire drama just drops SK like a used con. Uh, just drops Southall like a used con. Yeah. Oh yeah, we haven't like, talked yeah. about that yet. The fact that yeah, well, like, this drama... He doesn't support Southpaw's narrative anymore, so why does he need him? Well, yeah, exactly. Well, no, it's not that he doesn't support Southpaw's narrative anymore, it's that he can't get any more use out of Southpaw. 
Oh yeah. Oh, true. I mean, yeah. And that too. and 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 he, Salfo, foolishly enough, bit the hand that fed him. Not so much. Yeah, I, not so much bit the hand that fed him because bit the hand that were pals with him that defended him slightly. Yeah, <laughs> because Salfo is so weak, um, uh, emotionally, and I, I'm not. I'm not saying that as a dig at him. Just. In my opinion, uh, a fact. No, we, from uh, what I've seen, uh, that's I mean, just okay, true. Fungus, but... to be fair, at this point, it's pretty much factual. Yeah, yeah. but I'm not. He's I'm like not I'm basically not... said as much. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm not saying that as like a, a to, to like mock him or laugh at him. He is just you I'm, know okay. We fungus no hyperbole. At this point, making fun of Southpaw almost feel like punching down. Because he's it so absolutely does utterly yeah. pathetic. Yeah, th- th- that's why I'm trying to make it clear that I'm not I'm not calling him emotionally to mock him. Yeah, just calling just, it how we see it. <laughs> I'm just calling it how I see it. I think SK's sort of almost realized that he like Southpaw is a lot more reliant on him than he is on Southpaw, and he can and he's like, well, I can't get any more out of this, so I'm just going to jet. I'm just going to jet in this relationship. Which is why because, private and because he has, with Southpaw. yeah, because he's because Southpaw has annoyed him. He has he has he has spoken out against the king, and he's like, "Well, screw you! I don't need to, I don't need to deal with you anymore. I've I've used you for all that you're good for." Yeah, and this whole one year crusade was for nothing. The, yeah, and the then he just turns, are absolutely yeah, out. and he just turns around. Eske turns around and says, "Yeah, my bad." Um, I was being a silly Billy. <laughs> it was all it was all Southpaw's idea. Nothing to do with me. I played no part in any of this. Even though none of this would have happened if it weren't for you, SK. Yeah, I'd say yeah. I'd say uh, I'd say like South like none of the, yeah. I, I don't think any of this would ha- would would have been would have happened without SK. You're the you're the reason this monster has been created, SK. You helped him. Definitely. Yeah. That, then Eska just turns around. He's like, yeah, I was... No, I was being silly. Uh, let's just say that if you still support either of these guys... That nobody supports Salfo anymore. He, he, like I said, he lost all public support. You should have listened to Paif. If Paif did anything right, it was warn you about how how much of a scumbag this Southpaw guy is. And you, you guys, like, just went along with Southpaw because... He was well, the that's song. the popular thing to do. He's on EFAP's side, so let's defend let's defend him. And boy, did the original video just age beautifully. Even if I sympathized with Southpaw at all to, for any of this like SK shit, he's a total piece of shit and he's a liar. Yeah. And he deserves everything he's getting. Yeah. I'm sorry, but it's true. So I, I think uh, I think a lot of people just need to be aware of what SK is what SK is like as well. Yeah, because, because uh, Southpaw is unlikely to do any more damage. Yeah, because because so every, yeah, everybody, everybody obviously understands that that Southpaw is like a gigantic retard, but too many, too many people. I'm seeing like too many comments which are just like, "Oh, I, I had I had a pretty good conversation with SK." Though SK is arguably worse than Southpaw. I think SK is more. Malicious than Southpaw. I'd say they're equally as bad, but SK is just more influential at this point. What I was going to say was again, EFAP took the absolute correct course here, treating SK and Southpaw like they are mentally unwell fans because that is what they are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, but that's the truth. It why does. would you engage with like people like, uh, no, you why, know, why would that? you engage with somebody who said publicly? That they nearly committed suicide over internet drama. Exactly. Like, unless you want what to be you had at the end of your li- making somebody else commit suicide. Uh, that's why your video ended perfectly. Your last video ended perfectly with, with Mahler, Mahler talking about how he deals with these engagements, and like for any of EFAP's faults, they handled this situation like professionally. This is how you would handle it. Yeah. Why would you give any spotlight to these people? Who are just like insane. You shouldn't be barked down in instant drama. And if you are, it's, it's, you should just have fun like we do. EFAP has nothing to gain by their engagement at yeah. all. 
It's it's all public at this point now. Come to your own conclusions. If Southpaw still wants to live in his delusions, let him. Like, there's nothing else to say about it. Let him live in this echo chamber. I'm sure he's going to say some more wild shit in the future. Oh, he will. I'm sure he'll write this video I, off I, I, as I fucking assume, whatever. I assume as I'm editing this video, he's going to be in another live stream talking about this shit again. Just if you, if you had moved drop on, it. none of this would have happened. Yeah, all this, uh, you know, mental anguish you have, you can solve it yourself by stopping. Very simple. Touch. You're in the wrong here. You're a liar. Just stop. Touch forward. Stop now while you're ahead. And you had many opportunities to stop while you were ahead, and you I didn't. I, wouldn't, I would stop I wouldn't say, now. I wouldn't like, say that he's ahead. Just he's not. Stop when, stop when you're so far behind. But my point is, like, if he goes any further, it's just worse and worse. Like, just stop now. Like, this is your... This is it. Just stop. I hope nothing bad happens to either of these people. Like, that's a shit on the internet. If you can't handle it, get off the fucking internet. It's yeah. not a big deal, dude. Like, live your life. Enjoy yeah. life. Breathe and in the air. And he's not going to kill himself because he has internet friends and he has people around him IRL. So He has worry. a great support group, as we know. Yeah, he has a brother that constantly keeps an eye on him. He has a neighbor. Don't worry. Uh, he has a job, a dog. Um, although he had all these things before. I mean, I, I'm just looking at the evidence presented to me and coming to a conclusion. I mean, we kind of defended Southpaw against SK a little bit in that conversation. I don't know. i just calling it how I see it. Yeah. If that makes you mad, then well, maybe you shouldn't have said what you said. I'd like to make I'd like to officially challenge SK to a fight. I'd like to be a spectator. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. Uh just to punch him really hard in the head once. See if I can make him fly back twenty feet. Oh wow, resorting to physical violence? Yeah, I am. That's funny. Yeah. That's exactly funny. what I'm doing. I am resorting to physical violence I'm gonna feel because I can't now. win my argument, even though I have received. I can, I can win my argument through fighting. God will decide who's arguing.